yesterday, Skip. I be on these miles of hen dog, and now y'all got problems with me. Let me try that one more time, man. Happy Monday, y'all. It's your boy Jumpman Jones. You're not live inside episode 166 of the Kick the Shit Podcast, man. Oh, I forgot that nigga trans he transitioned. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that is. Damn, that's original content. Mm-hmm. What up, babe? All right, man. Joining me today to my right, man. It's my boy. It's my partner. It is the funniest, the talented, young Picasso, your motherfucking super James the Jellyfish, man. What up, B? What's <laughs> good with y'all, man? I'm gonna take the CD twist out. Right mm-hmm. here. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm glad to have you back, brother. Yeah. I got a haircut tomorrow, thank God. All right, man. Let me see if I can find this shit. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. To my left, it's my boy. It's my partner. It's my dog. It's Mr. Jukebox Johnny, aka Crown Daddy, aka Crown Poppy, or the El Himador Poppy, that Avion Don, or whichever one y'all on that night. Four more weeks, he back at the corner pub, y'all. Y'all know what it is, man. <laughs> Daddy, are you on the radio? What's going on, man? Yeah, you already know what it is. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Waiting to exhale, huh? <laughs> All right, man, real quick, man, before we get started, man, shout out to everybody who listened to the last episode of the show. Shout out to everybody who tuned in week in and week out. I don't know how you found this podcast, but you can find it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, SoundCloud, and iHeartRadio. Also... We on YouTube, that's right. Keep we on going. YouTube. Keep it going. Um, every right. Wednesday, so subscribe to KSP TV. I'm still trying to catch up with episode back. So goddamn, just bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. Uh, other than that, man, how you fellas doing? Man, feel real good. You know what I'm saying? Glad to be back in Charlotte, North Carolina, doing what I love to do with the two guys that I love to do it with. I don't know about all that. <laughs> 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 the introduction sound a little crazy there, but I got, I got you, I got you, I guess. All right, James, how you, what about you? How you doing? Yeah, We've been good, man. It's been pretty good. Uh, transition to third shift. All right, All right. now. That's why yeah. your eyes look like that. Yeah, man. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> but you start late tomorrow. Yeah, start got late. It. Got it, got it. So got that's it. the only good thing about it on Saturday. I get to go in late. That's what's up. Sleeping on yeah. in. What's third shift these in. days? Like 12 to 7 or something? Oh, hells no. For us, it start at 9 and it end at 8 in the morning. But Damn. I never, I never leave at 8. Four-day work week? Yep. Mm, okay. Oh, that ain't bad. Huh. That ain't bad. Yep. Well, I used to work in in a grocery. I used to have to go to Walmart and stop for Nabisco, and I see the third shift guy still there with me early in the morning. I used to get there about seven. My first, because Walmart's always gonna be your first store. It's got the most shit fucking stock on the shelves. Mm-hmm. So goddamn, that's your first store right there. Facts. I what was trying to get a job going? with um, I think it was Frito Lay. And they were, you know, the people that come in and make sure the displays and stuff look good mm-hmm. for the companies. Mm-hmm. I didn't know they paid that much. They paid like sixty five. Oh yeah, oh, for yeah. Real? yeah, yeah, yeah. Merchandising, man, because they have to <laughs> have to do sales to the store. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So that's yeah, they, them niggas make money. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, that's what the starting salary was. Yeah, but yeah. Shout out to that. I got the seasoning this week. This is this guy I follow on YouTube, Mister Make It Happen. Shout out to Mister Make It Happen. He uh he do like recipes and stuff like that. <laughs> Yeah, that shit is not health friendly, but it should be looking good. But he got his own seasoning that just came out. I'm out here promoing it for him. But that shit good as hell. Bro. Well, I'm just gonna put that shit on healthy. everything. <laughs> now the seasoning is just seasoning, but it, like the food he be making, it be like some baked mac and cheese and all that stuff. Like oh, okay. seafood mac. Um, he do like ribs. He do everything, man. Where he from? Uh, I think he from Virginia somewhere. Okay. Yeah, but I bought a seasoning to support. But that seasoning good. I had to, I ordered another one. What uh what what kind? What, what it's is an all purpose. It got uh salt, pepper, garlic, uh onion powder. Okay. All in one? Yeah. Damn. It's an all purpose. You shit put that thing on blessing. everything. That shit is good, but I didn't put that thing on everything since I had it. And this shit do sound good. Yeah. I, try it out. I I put random shit on everything, so it don't even matter. Um Listen, man, um, you guys ain't really talking about shit, so let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. All right, go on third shift. First of <laughs> yeah. I'm on full shift. <laughs> yeah, you are. First and foremost, man, uh, this Tuesday, everybody in the Charlotte area, I want y'all to go over to Bespoke Easy. I think it is a Spoke Easy. The Spoke Easy It's a bike shop slash bar. They repair bikes and shit. But my homeboy Santana Burris is having the egg roll, soul roll, summer se- uh, summer series. Oh, you're going to have some soul rolls? Um, so you go. The and vegan it, soul? So it'll be the soul rolls no. being sold out there and the artist being featured this time is Jamie Brown. 
So y'all could go check that out. The last one was pretty good. It was a pretty good event. So if y'all ain't doing nothing on a Tuesday, you need a second day of the week revival. Mm-hmm. Head on over there to Spoke Easy. It's downtown by CPCC. Oh, okay. Yeah, now, is it uh, a painter artist or like a musician artist? Oh, there is an artist. Dave is one of the artists. Oh, okay. So Shout Dave is Dave. one of the artists. Dave to see if he can do some Crocs for me. Um, but as far as this is a musician, so Jamie Brown would be performing. Oh, okay, okay. Live. So I think it's like jazz type uh, music, if That's I'm not mistaken. Up. I can't um, wait for my artist to get out here and start doing his craft again. Oh, yeah, word. man. We're yeah. ready to catch you. We're ready um, to do stand up, man. man. Shit, man. You people can been catch asking. Me right here. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna right sell, now. Man, whenever you're ready, bro, we're going to sell that bitch out. They ain't never going to have that many tickets. Oh, so. yeah. I've been waiting on it. I've I'm, I'm definitely been waiting on it. But the thing is, my uh, job is conflicting. The oh, days are I got conflicting. you. We got to find you another night. spot. Oh, Lenny Boy. I sent you that during the pandemic. Yeah, you did. You did. Lenny you did. Boy, man, that's got to be your fallback spot. Because I think they do Wednesday or Thursday. Wednesday you can't do. A Thursday you can't do. Actually, Wednesday I can do. Wednesday can't do? I think yeah. they do Wednesday or Thursday. It's not too good. I'll tell you that right now. Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Anybody out there looking for a comedian Wednesday, Thursdays, and Fridays, I will be available. Some days I'm going to uh, try to flex it out on Tuesday going get, late. Get sick real quick. I already don't told them. I said, look, man. My real dream is out here in these streets. Man, that's what's up. It ain't here. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all better y'all better get with it. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people want to see you, man. They think you funny, so they want to. Oh, thanks, you know, guys. They definitely want to check them out. In work. Oh, thanks. You know what uh, what that's saying? what I need, man. Now, don't I'm, get out there and shit a brick, though. Uh, I definitely have shit a brick before. <laughs> shat a brick. You got to trans- say the past tense. The transparency is real. The transparency yes, is I real. Yes, I have shat a brick before. Told all my friends about this nigga. He got out here. He ain't funny. Nah, for, come on, man. <laughs> it shows that you don't care, too. I don't oh, kill. Yeah, yeah. You didn't kill every show I didn't been to, yeah, man. Yeah, see? See? See, even, yeah. I'm just ready to see it again. See? I haven't seen it so long. I gotta see it again. I do this. I'd be like, damn. I wish he can go a little longer. One thing about um, no homo. One thing, yeah, that sounded <laughs> crazy. <laughs> that sounded a little crazy, but I know what you meant. So yeah. I'm, a, I'm a just gonna change the subject. But nah, one <laughs> thing about uh, comedy, definitely when you bomb, you think about that shit for about three weeks straight. Oh, for real? I mean, bro, I'm I I got like at least two shows that I think about every now and then. And I sum it up by one word. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about? Is it like when you play a game and you just not yourself like a basketball or something? Game? No, I, I relate it to basketball. So say, mm-hmm. you know how like you miss a layup and something. You'd be like, damn, you think about that shit for like yeah. a week. Think about everything you could have did right. Yeah, That's yeah. exactly yeah. what I do. I can, I, can, I can sense it yeah. when you talk about it. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's just. Going to haunt you, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah part of the game like it's fun but when i bomb that shit hurts man that shit fucking hurts yeah but it's definitely fun though i love it that's yeah for sure man but yeah i mean we're gonna get out there man i want to see you i know a lot of people want to see you yeah man i'm gonna get out there how many people want to see me watch it be like two people Nah, I, I think, mean, I I think I, this nigga has zero faith in, in the support Bruh, I, for real at least 10. This nigga has zero faith nigga, you know where we stay at I know, I know, <laughs> the most unsupportive city in the world. Man, good God, think, these I, people. I think you would garner more support here, but I think eventually you're going to garner more support, period. The more support you garner away from here, you definitely yeah. going to gain here. I mean, look at it, like, you got three people in this room that's going to come see oh, you. Oh, thanks, guys. Yeah, that's three um, already, so that's oh, more than yeah. two. We already beat your expectations. <laughs> And then we got <laughs> listeners that will probably come out there oh and see you if we give them fair warning and let you them know. We got to hype it up for at least a month. Word. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, like four episodes. <laughs> you got to keep marketing it. You got to let black people know in advance. Right. For sure. They got to find baby sitters and shit. Yep. They're going to ask you two weeks in advance. You still out there on first? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I'm, okay, I'm thinking about coming out that? there. Yeah, when they yeah. start doing that, they definitely thinking about it. They yeah. Start yeah, yeah, man. You got to put shit in people's head, man. Oh, yeah. Uh a trend that's been going on in America is getting rid of racist statues, racist monuments, racist names. And I got two graduates from Zebulon B. Vance right here on the show. Um, this week, they changed you guys' high school name to oh. Julius <laughs> Chambers I've seen that shit. High. How you feel about it, man? You went man. To t- That's the blackest school in America. Who, Julius. Who gives a damn? First of all, when that shit was named Vance, it was the blackest school in America. Let me just put that out there. We was pretty, uh, we was pretty, yeah, well, pretty ratchet. It was been black. Pri- 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 yeah. Privileged black folks. Yeah, I don't events. think we were, well, yeah, nah, we had nah, some. Nah. You had people that were staying over there off of, uh, what's that one called, Malacruz Church Road? Oh, yeah. Yeah, them, them were privileged. Yeah, they were. But they thought they was thugging. Right over there across the track. 
uh-huh. and Greenleaf and all the other ones. Them niggas yeah, was we were, too compared nah. to where I came from. Sorry. Oh, well. Sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, I was definitely not privileged. Uh, right. I used to wear one good sock and one bad sock, if you know what I mean by <laughs> exactly that. Exactly what that means. you mean by that. <laughs> I know exactly. That means a hole in the toe and a hole in the heel, nigga. Yeah. You're yeah. uncomfortable <laughs> all day. And hope you don't go to the nigga house who make you take your shoe off. <laughs> Oh, yeah. fuck, fucked dog. up. You That's mad good. as hell. Your toe ever slipped out your sock in your poor. shoe, nigga? <laughs> That's that, shit, poor. that shit is uncomfortable. Been there, been there, dog. Yeah, man. Shit, you worked in high school, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. Where you work at, nigga? I worked at Athletes Food. I worked at McDonald's. Word. Yeah. Damn. But my check went straight to my mama. Oh, okay. okay. She wasn't playing that shit. Yeah. Like, you didn't oh, work at McDonald's with Maple, did you? Who? Just, nah, nah, nah. Man, nah. Maple, you go in that bitch and order two dollars worth of stuff. He give you damn eight combos. I was like, yo, this nigga trying to get fired. And bro, the crazy thing <laughs> is, I got fired from McDonald's. I tell y'all about that later. <laughs> got fired like a motherfucker. Like, you know like they call in there trying to get recommendations. Guess what I got fired for? What? Of all things, being late. Trying to impress a white girl. See, man. They'll do it to you every time. Yeah, I always giving you hell. <laughs> And he spent his right. latter years he's impressing scarred. white women. He's scarred. That's why. Yep. That's why I say fuck him. <laughs> no um, offense. Also, this week, man, Zaddy and Yeet Besides, added yeah. to the dictionary. Oof. Who? Zaddy. So, and Zaddy. Yeet were Yeet. added to the Webster's dictionary. Oh, like yeeting something across yeah. the room. Like yeah. if I did this, they, that's a yeah. Yeet. Well, I don't know. They, they definition was it. like surprise or shock, right? Let me, see. What was Yeet's definition? They've added more than 300 new words to his dictionary, including terms originated from mean culture, social justice movements, and slang. Let's see. Let's see. Yeet, oof, cultural appropriation, the de- de- platform. <laughs> First of Domestic all. Domestic terrorism, snack, and zaddy. Let me see. It's what getting bad. Is, when we uh, putting slang as real words. Right. We ain't got shit else to do out here in <laughs> life. <laughs> I feel like, like yeah, yeet should be a shit, real word. I only go by the urban dictionary. To it's discard been in there for a an item at a high velocity. Yep, that's, that's, that's a yeet. <laughs> yeet. <laughs> yeet that motherfucker up out of here. Yo, man. Who, is I like, wonder, like, who is the dictionary council of niggas that be like, yeah, this should be a word. Right. Uh, How yeah. much do you get paid to choose what's going to be an official I word? I mean, they added 300 words, man. But shit. I mean, you know how we do in our culture, man. We keep evolving words. That's like, right. Nothing urban dictionary. Sticking. Yeah. How did English even be- start? Like, it couldn't have been the first language. Well, English? Yeah, it couldn't have been. Nah. It was probably like nah. Hebrew. Probably. Some crazy shit. I mean, languages evolved over time. There's this uh, going, like, speculation. Oh. That uh, English is just like the lazy derivative of every other language. Oh, for real? So, yeah. So, they've been saying like, you know, in France, you know, they got like extended words for like everything. They yeah. Were, English people was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> we going to call that a cow. Well, honestly, <laughs> um, if y'all believe, I don't know, if y'all Christian, the uh, different tongues come from that verse in the Bible. Well, they were trying to build uh, in Babel. In, in, yeah, I think it's Babel. A Babel. Babel. Yeah, Babel. Where well, they were trying to build the tower to the sky so mm-hmm. they could, you know, see God. And God didn't like that. So he struck their tongues and everybody started speaking different languages, couldn't understand each other. So one of those languages, probably English, and them niggas went off to Europe. And oh, damn. That's <laughs> <laughs> If you think about it, you know, whoever those people were that adopted that one tongue, but. Yeah, all those tongues that we speak, they come from shit. Probably well, that God, story. God was watching. I wonder what they building. Oh, oh they are getting a little close up here. <laughs> oh hell no! <nah. laughs> it goes back to last week's conversation when you say the niggas shoot that spaceship. Right, right. And right. Smack that shit God, right like, back. Hold up now, what y'all got going on? <laughs> you play too much. Just babble all over again. Oh man, it's all crazy. Right. This week, man, the COVID nineteen updates. Um, the vaccination rate is steady at 42.9. That's where it was last week. Uh, the fully vaxxed rate in the U.S. is 49.8. That's where it was last week. Man, my girl told me L.A. going back to the mask. Yeah, exactly. mask mandate. That's crazy. Los Angeles County will be reinforcing their mask mandate because wow. they have reached 1,000-plus cases for the seventh straight day. Bruh. Is the homeless people out there still straight? Because if they still straight... Bro, they got the immunity already. What is going on here? I actually read an article about that. That's funny you say that. I actually read an article about home uh, outbreaks of COVID-19 in homeless shelters. Matter of fact, here in Charlotte, there was an outbreak of COVID-19 at a homeless shelter. So, 
I'm gonna be real with you. We I don't know what happens to the homies. I just know they outside. But they ain't been outside uh-huh. since the thing began. Right. We need yeah, to be had, sampling. Um, the, what was the shit that they shut down? That was during COVID. The uh, where all them was sleeping in the tents. Tent, tent city. city. That was yeah. during COVID. Bro, they need to be sampling these niggas' bloods and getting the fucking immunity so it we can get past the shit. It huh? might be deodorant. If you don't wear deodorant for a certain amount of time, you get right. the immunity. Bro, that's wild. <laughs> that's wild. That aluminum fucking with that's us. Fucking wild. <laughs> Right, no technology. You yeah. been using your phone and shit. The gamma rays and shit coming off the phone. They ain't, they ain't used the phone since right. 09, nigga. They straight, <laughs> pure. Man, I don't know if homeless people didn't contract COVID-19 or not. Because them niggas is on the street and we don't see them. Yeah. It's fucked up, but we don't even see them. We just know they outside. Yeah, you know? I see and one you homeless be like, dude. Do you gotta be day. super homeless or like it's homeless like you're living on your homeboy couch homeless? It's niggas that live behind <laughs> our gym. <laughs> yeah, fucking thieving ass niggas, Bruh, man. It's this, it's this dude on North Shrine I see every day. And I want to say I see him since the beginning of, of the shit. I feel like I know him. Hey, bro, but I don't know him. COVID didn't stop no begging. begging Bruh, he's kept, still, kept he's still alive. kicking. He looked oh. healthy and well. Speaking of homeless, you remember the guy in a dress at the store when James went in the store in Texas? Oh, yeah. Now, them motherfuckers was homeless. Oh, yeah. They was homeless That as nigga hell. had on a sundress. And that nigga was healthy. <laughs> right. Did you see that? <laughs> That nigga say, John, you would stop at this store. <laughs> yeah, John did stop at the most craziest hooded store this ever. This nigga had on a dress with a cowboy hat and right. What else? And no he shoes. Had? He had no <laughs> shoes on. Nigga, James, what? James dress was over dragging dress. and ripping like, at the why? bottom. Why the dress? I say we got to get back to Charlotte. We don't do shit like yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> our homeless people are very, you know, they keep it. They keep they're it classy. cordial, bro. Yeah, they yeah, like. We got a sense of style up here. Right, be having on Jordan uh, number five. Right, uh, maybe having the uh, <laughs> the Jordans from China. Oh, up here, them shits might be talking, but at least they Jordans. <laughs> God damn it. Right, man. Our homeless people stay fresh, man. Out there in Houston, I don't know what the fuck was going on. Here we are rating homeless people (laughs) from city to city. (laughs) Top cities to be homeless homeless And you looking to have the freshest gear in the world? Come to Charlotte. All right, Suge Knight. Word. Uh, The CDC and the Surgeon General wants to find a way to shut down misinformation on COVID-19. That's something they met about this week. Um, Just basically saying, like, I don't know what they're going to plan on doing, but they're just... They're trying to funnel more information to keep people coming in to get vaccinated. As the numbers drop, I think the concern is growing that they might we might be going backwards towards different phases of shutdowns, whether mm. that be capacity yeah, I'm limits. I'm okay with that. As long as they uh, talking about more checks. Right. Yeah. They're passing out a couple more checks. Shit, I stay at home. Stimulus <laughs> check, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, y'all niggas! <laughs> right. I'll take a Give check. A remote remote stimulus, and I'm I'm cashing in on all the shit this time. And they got a lot of shit coming oh, yeah. out. Let, Let me get, get the food stamps. Yeah, yeah. Let me get the PPE. I want all the shit this time. Oh yeah, man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna be smart about this too. I'm gonna right. invest. <laughs> you damn right. Are you gonna get the scat pack? Nah, I ain't gonna mess with the scat pack. <laughs> you ain't gonna mess with the scat pack. Nah, 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 I ain't gonna mess with the scat pack. <laughs> yeah. Let me see where we at, man. Y'all niggas. I get the standard. <laughs> 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 Roll around like it's a scat. Y'all got any more of them 2017s back there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It got to have the lights. Go if it ain't got the lights, I don't want it. Yeah, man, just going down to Apple Auto Sales, man. I think they still got a few left. Hell no. They all <laughs> All right, man, where we at, man? Politics out this bitch. Politics. Politics. All right, man. So, you know, last week we talked about uh, the Haitian protest and they uh, they killed the president. There's a lot of more unrest going on in the world. Um, Cuba. Protests exploded in Cuba in the last week, man. Things really Mm -hmm. fucked up in Cuba. I know you've been there before. Yeah. Uh, but the economy is just doing bad. Uh, people are upset because they're not getting medicine because of uh, trade embargoes and things like that, where they can't get, um, they can't trade with like America. They can't trade with certain countries. Mm. So they're not getting medicine. They ain't getting no vaccines. They ain't getting no food, no supplies. So people just pissed off, man. They trying to, um, you know, trying to make a change, man. The government says that they're going to do something for them, but they've been promised something for the last, since 2018, I think, this, whoever the head of Cuba has been in um, office. It's probably a Castro, I think. From Maybe. I, I remember. Vidal. I think it's, yeah, it's one of the Castros. Yeah. I, it's their whole family line run Cuba, so it's just, they never got from out of the Castro re- regime, so to say. 
You got Damn, you. Damn, it's still Castro's down that Hey, bro, they shit is not like us. You don't vote. It's just like, hey, yeah, I'm dying. A, this nigga taking over when I die. It's a communist Damn. government, man. It's, uh, it's different. Yeah. Like, communist governments. Just like North Korea. Like, hey, them niggas gonna run this shit for the rest of their life. The Kims. Yeah. Kim Jong-un's. His son mm. will run it. The next person will run it. And they'll just keep it going, man. Mm. But I think the crazy thing about communist governments that people don't understand is like, for those people to be marching in the streets, bad has turned into so, like, it's turned into worse. Yeah, because you could really, like, die for yeah. protesting. Not like here where they tell you to get off the property. Nah, over there. Well, not even that. Like, they live in conditions where, like, why aren't you protesting? But yeah. the kind of government they got, man, like, I think in America we take freedom of speech so for granted. Like, they literally can't. I would ask questions about anything government, and they would say, Love government. Like, shut up, nigga. Like, you gonna yeah. get me. Like, how niggas run around America paranoid that the government might get them, the government will get them. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a difference. Oh, yeah. I remember over there in India when COVID first started, yeah. boy, they was whooping people asses with <laughs> sticks. <laughs> nigga, if you was outside, nigga, yeah. government officials was coming through, we are beating your ass with a stick, telling you to go inside. <laughs> yeah. You don't realize the shit that niggas do here. They get their ass whooped. Yeah, yeah. You man. don't realize how privileged you are till you go over there. Right. And then when you go over there, they make you feel like you so privileged. Like, the way they think, like, they think you rich over there. Yeah. As well, like, they think you like a millionaire. It's Bruh, like, everybody thinks you're a millionaire in every other country. I wish you could come true. over here and see how I live. They You'll be like, like okay. And that's what I'm saying, <laughs> like. If you could, if they seen how you live, they would be like, "Yo, you are rich." Like that's. Oh how, yeah, compared to y'all, yeah, but yeah, like, they got no shoes. They would the never rich. understand first world. Like they're third world country, so they don't understand first world poor. First world poor is rich to them, probably. You know what I'm saying? They'd be like, what you mean? The government give you three hundred dollars every week? You when know? I went to Cuba, <laughs> the, when I went to Cuba, man, the projects look like mansions to me here in America. Now, when I came back, oh. and I was like, now, now when I, now when I'm in like the hood, like the real project area. I'm like, this ain't this ain't poverty. Y'all don't know what real poverty is. This ain't poverty. Man, I remember <laughs> I was watching this documentary on poverty in other countries. And yeah, we getting off. <laughs> <laughs> we get we right. we're getting off, bro. Yeah. Like, we got help, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> I was about to say yeah. our our lowest homeless person is like probably go doing it all out. Yeah, they they like, that, see, he got clothes and he got a chance to have shelter yeah. for the night with air conditioning and heat. Like they don't even have windows, and I'm not yeah. shitting on the environment. It's just the car, like that's how they live. Even if they're rich, they wouldn't have window pane. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like they just don't. I think one of the dope things is uh, they did have electricity. I know, like in Haiti and places like that. We talked about that last week, where like they turned the electricity off. So I thought that was dope. You know, they got electricity all the time. Um, also, when you walk through the streets of Cuba, like people' homes is open. Oh, for Since real? they don't have, like, windows Oh, and shit. I guess. I you heard that's how it is in some parts of Africa, Damn. though. I heard yeah. they ain't got no refrigerators or nothing, so they cook in the morning, and then they just leave it on the table, and everybody eat throughout the day. Yeah, Bruh, so be Cuba's mad as hell. And that's why I say, <laughs> we were in Havana, so we're, like, in the New York City of a country. Yeah. So they have different, they have shit. You know, this is a big city, so they have people working good jobs as far as, like, government jobs, because those are the good jobs you're going to get. Yeah. And then, you know, people can work in the tour- tourism industry where they make money from tourists and tips and stuff like that. So we were in a different situation because we were in the city. You know what I'm saying? The city life is probably different than if you was to go out to the country where, you know, they might not have access to electricity or shit like that. So I will say that about Cuba. Although, like, Havana's a big city. It's got a lot of, a lot of fucking people that live there. Like, it's still, like, they still had access to certain things. Just everybody is not on the same level. And well, they don't got it. much, right? So they don't got no fast food restaurants or nothing like that, right? Uh, they don't have anything American there. Mm-hmm. They don't have this, like so. When you go there, you won't see anything that reminds you of here. I think the closest they got no KFC at least. No, mm. like Damn. when you when you get there, you figure it out. I think that, and the craziest thing was they had like one dollar pizza. And I didn't want it because I'm like, bro, that that's that don't even look right. Like, right. Like <laughs> one dollar pizza. Right. Yeah, you get a slice it. of pizza for a dollar, bro. I'm Damn, that's that. crazy. Right. I'm I was about that. to say, uh, even Jamaica got a KFC. I Jamaica. went to yeah, that mall. Yeah, I know when I went to the Bahamas, they had a whole bunch of stuff. Well, that's because if you're on it in the Bahamas, you on a resort, they will. Yeah. You really don't know what they got till you step off the resort. <clears throat> I ain't doing that. Just know I'll be <laughs> mad as fuck. Somebody walked through my house. 
I don't care how oh, big uh, it is. We, <laughs> Somebody we, just walk through you. I said, hold up, nigga. Come back here. So we went. You uh, disrespectful. One of the guys <laughs> show, one of those guys showing us around, he lived on the roof of a building. And he one day we went back to his crib so he could change clothes. So when we going through, like, we going through this place, right? And I'm like, yo, is this a whole house or is this different people's houses? And the further we went upstairs, we went up like five flights of stairs. We was going through people's houses. We were literally going up steps, through a living room, up some more steps, through somebody's kitchen, up some more steps, through another living room, through somebody's room. There's a lady sitting in there. Hell like, no. It's, it's like, different, get dog. Get your ass out of here. <laughs> and you bought company? Oh, hell no. Y'all niggas got to go around. It's, it's different, This is off bro. limits. Go up to the back door. Go up the steps. They don't pay you no mind. And they got dogs and shit. Dog be like, Rrr. like, hey, calm down. Yeah, that shit crazy. Niggas, niggas just going to his apartment. Man, fuck all <laughs> that. Y'all was in there getting Sickle. culture, wasn't y'all? We got a lot of culture. Right there, man. I, I love it. I, I wouldn't have been, Johnny. I would have been with you. I wouldn't have right. been oh, walking like, through nobody's house. I'm, over, you know, I'm, Johnny. I'm here for y'all beaches. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't coming here to Johnny. do nothing else but that. <laughs> Y'all got nice beaches. Johnny would have been like, who crib? They got nice. They got Hell nice. no. <laughs> I'll see y'all boys tomorrow. Go to who crib? Fun. I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> nigga. Hey, man. All right, man. We're just tired, man. Where we going? All right, man. Nah, I'm not going. Nah, I'm not going. <laughs> All right, man. So we still we got a little bit of protest and looting going on in South Africa. What's going on in South Africa? Now, I didn't read on that. <clears throat> so South Africa kind of, uh, these people are protesting democracy out there. Um, so the former president, he had a whole bunch of corruption charges. His name was Joseph Zuma uh, or Jacob Zuma. And he got a 15 month term for corruption. Mm. And all his followers are not liking the new regime. So they out here protesting. They just shut down the uh, public transportation and so much protesting and looting and uh, really putting a hit to the city because they can't make, I mean, South Africa, they can't make no money. What city they in? Are they in Johannesburg? They in, uh, uh, so they in Johannesburg, some shit called Gauteng. Mm. Um, and some, some shit, shit called, called God. God. Hey, I, all I know is Johannesburg. No, I know the other. Uh, it's, it's another one that's on the coast. It's Johannesburg, and there's another city that's on the coast of South Africa. And I can't ever think of the fucking name without Googling it. I guess I had to Google I it. I used to, yeah, yeah. I remember when I used to uh, play Civilization on the computer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they used to have another city in South Africa. Let me see. South Africa, man. What's that city called? Yeah. Come on, give it to me. That was Charlie Stone. Cape Town. Or? That's oh it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cape Town. Yeah, that's on the coast. I'm pretty sure that Cape beach Town. is beautiful. Right. Oh yeah. Uh, righty. I heard the Ivory Coast is pretty cool. Oh, that is that side of Africa, ain't it? Um, oh, okay. I've been over there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me the line. I'm just a nigga from Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Joe Biden and the uh, Biden administration are kind of getting upset with social media and all the false information that's been put out there about COVID-19, um, <laughs> trying to get people vaccinated. What, the zombie sightings and shit? Yeah, that's what they it's at? like you posted shit. Oh, shit, wait till five years from now. Huh? Who's seen a zombie? Huh? Who's seen a zombie? Ain't nobody seen one. <laughs> oh, he said a zombie but sighting. Shit <laughs> is out the damn. We're just waiting for five years to pass for that when disclaimer to come out. When I seen the lady that had all those spoons stuck to her head. <laughs> <laughs> shit don't made you a damn magnet. Yeah. What the the hell? hell? The shit is, there's a whole bunch of people commenting on there. See? See? I'm like, what you mean, see? <laughs> what they is, they, gonna, they building this big-ass claw machine. And everybody that got the vaccine, they're going to have that claw come through it. It's going to rake your ass everybody. up. Everybody. Clink, 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 clink. Shit, at least I'll be there with my get people. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to get y'all, drop y'all off somewhere. Nah, what's going to happen is it's going to be some niggas that? up there that said they weren't getting the vaccine and they going to get sucked up too. I'm like, uh, nigga, you nah, lying. I ain't got no metal on. I'm going to make sure I ain't got no metal on. <laughs> nigga, you lying. You got that vaccine. <laughs> be getting sucked up by the little magnet looking down at James talking about some P.O.P. Holy <laughs> <down. laughs> I'm like, all right, I'll holler at y'all. I'll protect y'all niggas, man. When we get to the concentration camp. Oh, don't say that. That just got yeah. dark. Nah, nigga, that's where you keep bat damning us, I too. mean, but Let damn, you shit, just got nigga. dark. <laughs> you just got dark on us. I hope it don't go out like that. Jesus. <laughs> and then also in Texas, man, a federal judge, man, this is kind of new. Um, he ruled that the DACA, the Obama program for uh, immigrants, that were undocumented but born here in America. Uh, it stops them from getting deported. Uh, now is illegal oh and it's blocking God. any new op- applicants that were uh, born here from illegal parents um, from getting their citizenship. Man, Obama ain't been in office in how long? They they always- steady trying to overturn everything this man did. Yeah, I mean that's they that's that's what they do. 
they, they and it's hate. always for shit towards another group of people. Oh yeah. It don't make no sense. Meanwhile, Asians got a whole hate deal. And what they is? still hate niggas. <laughs> always. Still. Yeah. Can you blame them? You gonna hate on people at the top. Hey, it's I'm cool. a motherfucker call me a nigga. I'm gonna say, oh, I'm 35 percent Asian, nigga. You can go to jail for that. Right. <laughs> You oh, go to jail man. for that bullshit, oh, nigga. Be like Clayton Biz. <laughs> nigga, nigga, where? <laughs> Get him. I'm 35% Asian. Don't talk to me like that. No, I that do up? got some Asian in my family. That's what my daddy told us. Oh, you in there then. You right. Good. Hey, we good, baby. Right? You can prove it. That's what I'm saying. Somebody so. call you a nigga, it's a rap for him. It is. They lose their job. I don't anything. even care about that. I want my discount at House of Lions. Yeah. <laughs> This nigga say he wanted this. I want my lunch special discount during dinner time. <laughs> All right, nigga. That's fucked up. Do we got anything else in politics? Uh, nah, that's it. Oh, they don't man. give nobody no discount, nigga. <laughs> Just because oh, you Asian. That'd that was the most up, racist my people. shit. You know what I, You know what pissed me <laughs> off, though, about that shit? Um, how anytime you go to an Asian restaurant, they always eat some shit that ain't on the menu. Oh, yeah. Oh, hold up. Why y'all ain't feeding us that? Oh yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, yeah. They be eating that extreme. That's shit. cause they in the back making shit. They can make whatever they want. They be eating that extreme shit like duck foot and shit like that. It be too much, man. <laughs> I don't too know, much. man. I think I'm with the duck foot. You ain't with no damn duck foot. Not duck foot. <laughs> that shit come out way up this shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Go eat that duck foot. Oh well foot. Eating, the, eating around the web. <laughs> Y'all niggas stupid, man. All right, man. Oh, this, we cook this toe right here, bro. This week on the <laughs> internet, man. Um. I came across a post that said men are sharing the things that men are sharing the things they wish women knew about them. Before I dive into what other men, men are what? they're share, they're sharing their feelings. What do you mean with each other? N- nah, with what the you? with the <laughs> with the world. <laughs> what, what I'm I'm confused. Men are sharing what? What are we sharing here? <laughs> they're sharing things that they wish women knew about them. Is there anything you wish a woman knew about you? What are you sharing that you wish a woman knew about you? Well, I don't know, Jess. What would you share? What does a woman not know that you want her to know? I don't know shit. What okay. the- <laughs> but Johnny, you're more qualified for this. Right? Yeah, I was about to say. This, this nigga James. Uh, shit, man. This nigga like his buddy. I did see one on so. that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind sharing. I don't know if they share. I don't share. mind sharing that with him. <laughs> We always gonna share the freaky shit. Yeah, Lick yeah, my yeah. left ball, then the head. <laughs> right, I like the girl that, that do it, man. She's she's a whole beast. Nah, uh, it was one thing that always got me was the food thing, where like I don't know where I want to eat either. Ah, uh, well, I didn't want you to share from this list. Oh, 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 because I was gonna get into the Shit, list. Something that I that I don't think that's on that list. I don't know, man. That's a hard question. Uh shit. Things. Hold on. The things they wish women knew. When about I say them. leave me alone, leave me alone. Uh, uh, oh, well, I would say when I say leave me alone, it doesn't mean I don't want you around. It I would never I say leave me alone. What would you, what say? Would you say? Nothing. <laughs> you should get the hint. Uh-huh. Uh, so James that. has communication. <laughs> <with you. laughs> but then she's going to ask you why you acting funny. Because I want to be left alone. <laughs> there you go. Oh, Boy. so they got to ask to get the information. Nah. Because you're not going to say nothing, right? Nah, I'm just give you my actions. I'm going to be like, hey, leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, it's this is leave why me alone, this actually. and so this James is right. This is yeah. why this post came about. I would probably say respect my truths. Respect your respect truths truth because it's hard for me to be truthful. Mm. Respect my truths. So don't make me repeat my truth to you. I'm then I'm gonna flip it up because I'm gonna see your reaction. So I'm gonna flip it a tiny bit. Well, hold on, man. People are gonna react to the truth. Yeah, you right. You so you gonna lie react. if? <laughs> yeah, you gotta let them react. You lie. I'm like maybe if I said it wrong. Reaction. I'm like maybe I said this. wrong I hate when people do that. Like you said what you said. Yeah, it's cool. I'm like just, baby, you not fat. <laughs> you just gotta let people get in their feelings and get out their feelings. Nah, don't change it though. Cause then, right then people bring you into their feelings <laughs> once they get into them. Because you right, yeah. Like you come here and call me ugly and I feel away and I'm like, damn, bro, for real. Yeah, you ugly as hell. But don't. Change. <laughs> I mean, you cute for some niggas. See, oh, see hell what I'm no. saying? Don't do that. Don't do that, bro. Oh, don't do that. Because no. <laughs> when you do that, now it's like, but you just, but I'm confused. Just, I'm, I, whatever. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. I but, got a partner named Nigel. Shout out my nigga Nigel. That nigga, that nigga ugly. ugly as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> God damn! Uh, you gonna tell him I, that to his face? Yeah, I told that nigga every day we. Well, work some people together. know they ugly. 
I, I think most people know they ugly. This dude's so ugly, it's like when you talking to him, it just hits you back in the face. You be like, damn, bro, I forgot how ugly he was. Like, damn. Damn. <laughs> I, I don't know if I know anybody that damn ugly where Denzel. I can't even look at him. Denzel oh, is that ugly. Oh, my nigga Denzel. Denzel is that ugly. Demarcus is that ugly. But oh, he married now. Yeah, Demarcus is a funny looking nigga, but Demarcus is cool though. Your he looks don't now. get you married or unmarried. That nigga missing a pinky. And men don't. And a tooth. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> men don't have. Missing a pinky and a thumb and thing a thing tooth. Is, Demarcus is like really cool though. Like talk to, to talk to. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to say men don't have to look good to get a woman. Nah, Demarcus will scrap your ass. Yeah, that nigga. No, lie. he'll get so mad to where he want to scrap, and then he'll get. The- <laughs> All right, man. Um, <laughs> nigga, cut the shit out your face with them ashy ass knuckles too. Here are a few things that men are sharing <laughs> that they wish oh, women man. knew about. I gotta them. hit them up on Instagram. Now. I know, right? See what my nigga up to. All right, man. So after this episode come out, <laughs> <laughs> he gonna be mad as hell. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck y'all talk about, man? <laughs> All right, man. Um. All right, thing one, just because I'm not talking doesn't mean I'm not enjoying my time with you. I can relate to that one. Yeah. Um, so what, you just sitting here watching TV and she want to know why you ain't it's having more a conversation like if, with her? If y'all go out somewhere and mm-hmm. y'all kicking it, but you ain't really saying much, she might be thinking you're not enjoying the the, the time y'all spending. Mm, I got you. Because your ass ain't saying shit. True. Or mm. something just don't It depends mind. on where we at. Where we at, the club? But see, that then. That wouldn't be a truth for you because then you probably not enjoying your time at the club, right? I was about to say because if we at the club and I'm not saying nothing, I'm looking for the exit just in case something go down <laughs> in this motherfucker. You yeah, feel you me? never know. You never know. And and, and I and I add a caveat. This these are not true for every man. This is just some you may relate to, some you may not relate to. I can relate to that one. Um, this one says we actually really want to be complimented too. I don't um, really care about that. I don't either. I this, know I'm fly. I don't need you to be like, oh, you looking fly <laughs> Nigga, today. you are ugly. <laughs> That's fucked up. Here we go now. But see, I would believe that if I didn't have a nice plethora of women. That doesn't that mean I, you, you know look what I'm good. Saying? Hey, that does so, not mean you look good. Guess what? I look good to somebody. <laughs> Here you go. That's all right true. then. That's all I can say. I got. I got. Not saying saying I got these same women because y'all know I got a girl. But. I'm just saying, look at, look my uh, my rap sheet is what I'm trying to say. is pretty cool to where the point that doesn't I feel like I'm looks. confident in you my looks. You know what looks. that justifies? What? That justifies that you are a person that people like to be around. Oh, well, guess what? They must have thought I was cute, too. <laughs> you, know, you, know, <laughs> you know what justifies? They must have no, thought some know, kind of handsomeness you know was what justifi- somewhere. You know what justifies your looks? What? Compliments. I got some compliments for. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out here. Um, this one says it's hard to get over you after a breakup. We don't really have emotional support systems in place to rely on, and a lot of men have small social circles, so losing someone means a lot to us. Damn, that's true. What was that again? That's true as fuck. <laughs> I said that's it's hard to get over you after a breakup. We don't really have emotional support systems in place to rely on, and a lot of men have social circles, so losing some. Small social circles, so losing someone means a lot to us. I, yep. that, that's true. As soon as we lose you, it's fuck everybody else. That's what Literally, you, and that's and that's how it is. Cause we ain't we ain't gonna talk about it. We just magnum. gonna hold on to it. Yeah. And um, then when we get home, we're gonna be crying. <laughs> now this one, this oh, one, this one is. Oh are, God. We are in great with hints. Communication is king. But you're good with hints. Who me? Yeah. Yeah, I am good. You're with the hints. king of hints. I am. He is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, it's a lot of, I, I listen to him talk That's how I know It's oh. a lot of things I didn't get But I learned I feel mm. like hints are, I feel like hints Hinder women mm. Because most men Feel that way We aren't good with hints and First of all Everything from a woman Is a hint She's not gonna tell you Nothing straight up Till she mad at you Yeah she'll tell you that and, Yeah and I, <laughs> and I feel, I feel like, tell I you feel that, like that I feel like that hin- I, I feel like that Hinders the growth of women Explain that Why you think that so, because women throw hints, right, mm-hmm. and they're never forced to be direct, they they don't ever really learn how to truly communicate the way that they want you to communicate. Mm. So, mm-hmm. therefore, they don't really they're not really good communicators. If you really think about it, they only communicate great when they're angry. Oh my god! Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, you want to add something to this, ma'am? Because he's straight <laughs> slandering y'all. <laughs> I wish right. you had. A you don't want to add? You don't want to add that? You sure? Cause this nigga going off. <laughs> I, wish, I wish he had a mic. <laughs> yeah, but the hints. No, nah. Y'all don't take hints, well. All right. 
No, no, no. They can they can take hints, but they give out so many hints. They want you to be direct a as a man, right? You give but out too many hints? But just not. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this nigga starting some shit. I am. <laughs> and, but then you, it's like you, you know, they want you to get the hint too. And that's not how that works. Right. Like if you want me to communicate to you directly, then you have to communicate back everything that yeah. you need from me as well. Y'all do be wishing upon a star sometime, man. They be like, what's good, <laughs> man? What's good with this? Yeah. Cause y'all, y'all be, and they play a lot of games. Yeah. I wouldn't say they play a lot of games. I think so. They but do. they definitely be shooting for the ceiling. They do certain things to see how you're going to react. And yeah. if you don't react the way that they want them to react, then they get mad. But it's like you try to set me up for this situation. Mm-mm-mm. And I didn't react the way you wanted to. Now we're in this argument where you should have never did it that way. Okay. You should have just said what you needed to say. Damn, right? you shouldn't even ask Johnny. <laughs> I'm, with, I'm with my brother. I'm with my brother. Johnny, I'm <laughs> right. low key. Right. When we tell you what you needed to say, I'm, shit. You know what it is? And I found this out the other day. I didn't get like this until I started following Alpha Male. And once I started following Alpha Male strategies, I think I had a new outlook on women. And now I got to uh, get back to being a lover. Damn, you've been influenced. Is yeah, what yeah. Been. Once I start following Alpha Male, I start looking at women a lot differently. And I think Bruh, that's I'm what... going to tell you something about that. From my experience. <laughs> God damn, looking at them different. <laughs> yeah, damn. Yeah, yeah. From my experience, I learned from some pretty shitty males. Yeah. But we all did. Like, well, but like, you had a dad. It worked yeah. for them, but it didn't work for me. So me going in, I used to get frustrated when shit didn't work for me. So I say, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I right. say, fuck you too. And that's not necessarily the thing to do in those certain situations. Right. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, you're right. And that's how that's kind of how Alpha Bell is. Yeah. I have to send you some of his shit. Nah, nah I'm good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm already an Alpha Male. I probably look at somebody else shit like Beta Male shit. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> all right, when we tell women. Beta Male provider. <laughs> all right, when we tell women we don't know how we feel about something, it's usually untrue, and we genuinely don't understand how we are supposed to feel about. Hold on. Let me start it over. When all we right. tell women that we don't know how we feel about something, it's usually true. If we genuinely don't understand how we are supposed to feel, I personally wasn't allowed to express emotions growing up, and it turned into me not being able to understand my emotions. Damn. I uh, agree with that. That that's, nigga that's got me, deep, I, didn't I, it? I said, that's me all day right there. Well. That's me all day. See, I really like to hang out with my friends because I love them, not because I don't want to spend time with you. That's me too. That's my spirit animal. Let's see. Hold on. Sometimes what, your friends? <laughs> nah, whoever what? wrote that one is my spirit animal. Wow. Sometimes men just don't get hard. Okay, now this is one I disagree with. Sometimes men just don't get hard. And I didn't understand why oh, that this nigga made got this. ED. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. It. Listen, it's not you. It's many things from lifestyle and diet to stress and anxiety. Please try not to take it as a sign of lack of attraction or affection. Sometimes it just happens. <laughs> nah, I know what nah, that is. That nigga got ED. It's true, but it ain't that shit. It's because I beat off too much the day before. God damn, Johnny. <laughs> a, little All too, right. a little too transparent there, okay, sir. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. But it's just I don't, have it. I don't have any more in me. <laughs> <laughs> the gift to you. <laughs> men, men have emotions, and there are points where we need to cry. Nigga say he on E, nigga. Uh, I mean, that's true. <laughs> but tears happen not just from pain, but also from joy. Go ahead. I mean, I've cried tears of joy before, and I've cried sad tears from just being. You cried sad. tears of joy. Yeah. I think I nigga, how? What was the situation? Things, like I watched like certain movies before that got me t- like watery eyes. I never like <laughs> like lost it, but it, it wasn't like what, and what happened in the movie. It's just whatever happened in the movie triggered me for something that I made me think about something. I bet you cry like Braxton off of Jamie Foxx. Nah, show. man. <laughs> you know, I don't cry like that when I. Cry. <laughs> Share. Nah, I, I don't cry like share. that. I cry like <laughs> my eyes just watered. Only time I boohoo <laughs> is when somebody die. That's the only time I really boohoo. Yeah, that, that's the hard one. Yeah, that's but, crazy. Like over some emotional shit, I'll get watery and then I'll man up real quick. I cried tears of joy the first time I seen my daughter during the pandemic. I hadn't seen her in like the whole pandemic. And oh yeah, now the kids get you. I do cry when I drop. Would you say hold on for a minute? Who be? Yeah, you I gave it a whole long moment. Come on, nigga. I had a mask on. I got it in. Hold on. Get mask. away from me right quick. Just get away. <laughs> nah. <laughs> my daughter seen me cry before. Oh, for real? Yeah. yeah. Man, I remember the first time I seen my dad cry. That shit was horrible, man. <laughs> that shit was horrible. You ever seen a man, like, try not to cry and still be a man? Yeah. He was like, man, shoot, man. <laughs> 
<laughs> got me hell yeah. Man, shoot, man. Y'all got me crying and man, shit. This is bullshit. <laughs> Like, nigga, what's wrong with you? Yeah, your dad ever cried for Yeah, you? a few times. I didn't see my dad cry. It took a minute. Uh, when his when his mom died, that's the first time I seen him cry. Oh, yeah. And damn. then when I was leaving, he cried, gave me a hug, and he kissed me on the cheek. I said, man, it's about when you going to A&T? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Damn. damn. And then, that's a son, you man. You're a favorite. Huh? He Why? Because he cried? Person. Yeah. Damn. Nigga kissed me on the cheek. The nigga's <laughs> shit was itchy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This nigga ready. Hey, this like, nigga about to I'm proud it's of different you. when you getting kissed by your dad, your mom all your whole life, and your dad kissed you. That shit feel a little different. He's like, hold up. Some rugged ass <laughs> face on the side of your <laughs> face. Fucking aftershave and shit <laughs> on. Right. Yeah, I kiss my daughter brother sometimes. Man. Yeah. That's my guy. Stop What's me. up, man? Give me a kiss. Wow. All right. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. All right. Go on somewhere. Go on somewhere, nigga. All right, man. Um, we don't know what we want to eat either. You said that. That's my favorite yeah. one, probably. We don't, y'all. I be sitting we don't. mad as hell. It be sporadic when we choose to. Right. And it, also, we don't want to eat what y'all want to eat. I don't know. I might. I just don't know where they want to eat because they never say nothing. They don't want chilies, bro. Huh? They don't want chilies, They bro. might. That's, what, that's what I say. I'm going to tell you what they are. I get want. fed up, and they, I'm like, fuck it, then. I'm going to eat chilies. That's my okay. Mama's, my mama used to say, I ain't never seen nobody turn down a hot meal. Maybe. Bam. That's fair. I don't know, man. Bam. I gotta have that. I always gotta have that explained to me. Why y'all don't know what y'all want to eat? Shh. Oh, okay, you different. You an outlier. Shit, take her ass somewhere where it's a hot plate. (laughs) Take her to a buffet. A girl that don't know what she want to eat, take her ass to a buffet. So she can be mad the whole fucking time? No, because it's it's everything there. So it ain't like you can be like, oh, shit, I don't know what I want to eat. Motherfucker, it's literally everything here. Oh damn! What I say? What I you say? You didn't know that? You didn't know that? <laughs> what? I thought you were saying that because you want to invite her to the buffet to piss her off. First of all, why don't you eat a buffet? Women don't eat buffets, dog. It's steak up there. It's shrimp up there. It's nasty. And what I'm supposed to? Do, what I'm looking for? It's just not sanitary. That's why I'm. So that's why you' supposed to go when when the fresh plates come out. You know they do the they do the fresh plates at one o'clock. Hey James, and they also do the fresh plates at five. James, oh okay, James. Never mind. no woman's going to a buffet, dog. Well, y'all tripping then. I don't know what to tell you. This shit, y'all making this hard. This ain't algebra. This is fucking food. What the fuck? I'm tired yeah. of this. It is. It is, man. That's why I just say fuck it. I'm going to Chili's. I'm gonna get me a burger. A fried appetizer for 10 bucks. Le- ladies, let me know in the uh, comments. Right. Are all y'all just against buffets? Just because? Hey, everybody? I'm going to skip around. Nah, to, my homegirl, like, though, uh, she down for a buffet. That's that's my homie. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> Your homegirl, is she a plus size woman? I was about to- <laughs> nah, She got a little plus, but she not plus size. I was trying size. not to laugh, she but. Uh, plus size. Is your homegirl over 5 for 5? Nah. She under 5 for 5? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I ain't saying that. <laughs> oh, I, I ain't saying that. All right, uh, playing hard to get does not work at all. Does it? Probably not no more. I don't know. For a woman? Yeah. Not no more. You can't play hard to yeah, get. Yeah, nah, you got to come for me. For yeah. a man? Yeah, you can't play hard to get no more. It works. A man can play hard to get yes. all day, every day. Because if one thing that I've learned, women get hollered at all the time, dog. And they probably like the person that shows them the lesson. Attention. Right. You the mystery. Yeah. I don't you know how mi- true that is. I don't Bruh, know. How, real I don't, talk. I don't know how true that is. But you can't real be really, talk. You can't this be interested in them like that though. You it's kinda gotta be like she you can have her or you can't have her. Like you don't have that's not gotta be a woman that you desire a hundred percent. Let me tell you what I do. Well, what I used to do. Nah, what you do? What I used to do. <laughs> I make you laugh. Mm-hmm. I make you laugh like uncontrollable. I'm talking about one of them. Boy, you silly. One uh-huh. of them. Right, and then Williams. I won't say shit to you. <laughs> walk away. All right, good to meet you. That makes that makes them be like, hold up, what's up with this motherfucker? Why oh, yeah. he ain't? You know what I mean? Like it's it's sometimes with women, it's more strategic than it is physical. True that. I used to run that game too, where you have a hell of a good conversation. I didn't do the laughing thing, but I have a hell of a good conversation. Oh yeah. And then I back out. Like okay, so what's the percentage? When she expect for you to get the number, you leave. Yep. Get up what, out of there. What's the percentage on that though? Huh? What? What's the percentage? Like I say, at least an eighty. It's at 80%. And what is the uh, scale of the girl? 
like what she looked like. Yeah. Mm, oh, I, bad. You, bro, you are. Right, well, no. you're talking to two different people. Bad. Okay. Yeah, he's not going to be honest. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I talk to baddies, bro. What are you talking about? That don't work with them. And that was what I was trying to get to. What? What? It don't work with who? It don't work with them. <laughs> Shit. You got to remember. I know what I look like, so I don't holler at no bad girls. You know what oh, I'm saying? Okay. Well, I, that's I, like, you. I like a nice seven, eight range. I've also. I can't. Maybe a, I, I can't. I, I can't love deal. a good six. Six perfect for me. I, I can't deal hard. with nothing that's a seven. I'm going to be like, nah, I'm good. Because I know it's an eight out there somewhere and i know it's a nine i don't really care do but i've learned you got that three more levels the past nine that. Gonna want another nine i say i'm like a good seven maybe damn that's fucked up like, bro i'm dressed to the teeth i'm a 7.8 look i know personally i'm probably like a seven <laughs> but you can't tell me that in my head in my head i'm like a nine you know what i mean for real bro niggas can't, I'm tell, worth niggas can't tell james shit in his yeah head. you can't tell me <laughs> shit i could do it all and i'm the shit and i look good <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Even though you know you really a seven. <laughs> That's the confidence you gotta have. See, I got the confidence of a four, but I'm probably like a seven too. And then, I, I got the confidence of a nine. What I learned is you can't play hard to get with no bad chick. Not no true bad chick. Why you can't? You can't, dog. Why? Because they're time too if occupied. You, if you're not if you're not anywhere near you like matter of fact, you can't if you're not anywhere near a baller status type nigga. And you got these bad chicks in here. Like, we talking about baddies, baddies, like true baddies. The ones that we be seeing on the phones and shit. Hard to get not working with them. That's not working with them. Man, they get hard to, that hard all to get, the time. I'm trying to tell you. Hard to get is working with average chicks. First of all, it's the girl got to like you. bad chicks. She got to like you first. Or she got to be interested in you some kind of way. Yeah. Now, if she ain't interested in you in no kind of way, yeah, you shooting in the but dark. But that was what you did, though. You went over there first to get her interested, and then you backed out. At some yep. point where you thought that she was going to, As where some, she thought you was going to holler or get the number or get an Instagram or But something. I'm not saying be thirsty. I'm saying you have to initiate something. You have to initiate some type of conversation. You're not just going to play hard to get like, hey, what's up? You see me over here. But then again, you never know because women talk. They be like talking to each other like, oh, girl, he fine. I'm not talking you know about I mean? regular, but I'm not talking about regular girls. I'm talking about a room full of bad chicks. Yeah, bad chicks do it too. Nah. Bruh, people are regular. I don't care what their status are all the way up here, all the way down here. Yeah. People are but regular. Not, but you just proved my point when you were talking earlier. They're not regular here. They might not be regular there. And if they're not regular here, then it don't matter the games you playing. It's all about what's going on up here. And a girl who's that fine, who knows she's that fucking fine, is not about to chase you and try to pursue you. It's I not beg. happening. That's very true. I beg I've to never differ. seen it. And I, 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 I kind of agree with him. I'm I've never differ. seen it. I've seen it. Yeah, because there's been times where, like, real pretty girls have talked to me, and I I just was like, you know, I try to act like I'm not interested. They give up. They like, fuck it then, nigga. Yeah, it's another <laughs> nigga for them, and they know it. Yeah. <laughs> As opposed to the average girl, they don't really know if another nigga's going to approach. You'll make time for what you want to make time for. There you go. You better Think believe that. Think about nigga out here. Hey, man. I'm Which, trying to tell y'all, bro. He alpha male strategy too, though, man. He, he, is, he, is, he don't know. Call me Kevin fucking Samuels out here, bro. Kevin Samuels and alpha male, they do like weekly um things together. All right, well. Shout out to my nigga alpha male strategies, man. Go get his book. Man, don't go get that nigga book. He's going to be single as hell. I go get Tyreek Nasheed. Go get my Mackin. book, James think, Jellyfish, The Art of Mackin. I think what I want to do is have some ladies come on, and I want to go back and forth on them topics. See, man, you can't get them fr- fresh on the point because they're going to answer. They li- listen, some women answer to make themselves sound good. So if you bring them on the podcast. <laughs> and the whole time they got a nigga yeah. dragging them through the mud. They be like, oh, I don't talk to oh, Buster no, niggas, no, no, but no, no, got no. about six Buster niggas in your catalog. Get the fuck out of here. Out. We just getting thoughts, nigga. Like, oh, okay. Like, they can't. <laughs> it's, not like they, it's not like they fact checking us to see if we really talking to baddies either. You know what oh, I'm saying? Okay. Like, I mean, you can fact I'm check not, me. I'm not trying to go through that. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Appearance is an opinion. Hey, square, man. You can fact check me, bro. I don't right. talk to no slouch. The locks. I probably got about one or two in there. They probably I mean, like, oh, Jay, it's like, I'm back. It's all. It's all <laughs> hey, 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 hell hey, no, hey. bitch. Use a slap. It all depend on the <laughs> I, I, I want to see this lineup. I still. What you yeah, oh, my, dad he, might not be with baddies. Bad, my lineup is pretty solid. I, I got a friend to like. I can't. I mean, I don't. You I ain't out like Instagram, that no more. Though. I'm not flashy like that anymore. True. They down on Instagram? I'm a I'm a one woman man now, baby. I got All I can say, he like nothing but big joints. A skinny joints, he would say ugly, but if she big, kind of sloppy looking, he love it. Ew. So everybody think bad is everybody definition is bad is different. That's true. That's I, true. I disagree. And the reason why is I can pull up ten accounts on Instagram mm-hmm. and we can all agree that these joints is bad on most of them. Yeah. 
Almost though. We can so all talk about fact, like we, we do it all consensus week. Consensus badass. First chick. of all, we yes, disagree I'm about on one chick. What Rihanna? Yes, I don't think uh, Rihanna. But that's bad what I'm saying. All. That's a, a consensus is that's a bad girl. Yeah, consensus. Yeah. But I so, don't see it. So I, I'm sorry. So when we take Rihanna to the masses, you would be the weirdo over there saying she yeah, don't look good. I, I would be the. You weirdo. get what I'm saying? So I that's different on, huh? than me bringing a girl here that I think is bad, and you two. I don't know the consensus on her. Let's stop rating women. <laughs> I was about to say, if I bring her in, I say she bad, then she gonna be bad. Do you want the consensus? Yeah, you can have a consensus, a consensus, so a simp, 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 <laughs> nigga. She gonna be bad. All right, man. <laughs> Trust and believe. August third, live from Madison Square Garden. We got our next versus the locks versus Dipset. Let's man. go Dipset. Let's go Dipset. Locks gonna win. Locks gonna win. Locks got a lot of hits. I don't have a dog in this fight, so you might That's gonna be a good one though. I think Locks got better solo careers. I think Dipset like there's power in numbers. Bro, you sound about crazy as hell. Did you just say that? They do got better solo careers than uh, the Diplomat solo careers. So I would you, think. So you you must don't listen to the Locks like that. So you think, even no, though you said the Locks had better solo careers. Mm-hmm. Okay, but you know they put out mad mixtapes together, like. Mad mixtapes, see, I'm and they off, still doing it. I'm like, going off they commercial got some success, and I feel like Styles, Jada, and Sheik all had hits. Yes, uh, compared to I think when they say Dipset, they just talk about Jim Jones, Cam, and Jewels. Jewels had some decent. Jim had some success. and Jim, he had balling. Who yeah. else do you know in Dipset outside of Freaky Z? Oh, like yeah, but Freaky Jr. Ryder. They don't count. Hell, him real. Either. They don't count him either. <laughs> yeah. I feel like this is another battle for New York again, just like the Jada Kiss Fabulous. I thought that was a New York battle. I think it's gonna be entertaining though. Yeah, it's gonna be entertaining. Yeah, I think it's gonna be super entertaining. I'm, I'm don't have a dog in this fight because I didn't listen to a lot of Dipset. Definitely didn't listen to a lot of Locks. Like I, I listened to a lot of Jada Kiss and Styles. Mm. Shout out to my homie Gotti, man. He put me on Jada Kiss and Styles. I really wasn't listening to them like that. Yeah. He introduced me to him. I was like, what the fuck? Shit, I used to walk yeah, where I, the fuck I, these dudes been? I like Jada. Cam. I like, but I like Jada late. I didn't like Jada early. Man, I can let I can let y'all listen listen to some uh, Styles P right now. To make you He's be like, pretty good. damn, he is that pretty dude good. got lyrics. Styles is on that vegan shit now too, ain't yeah, he? Styles, yeah, Styles is that man, bro. Yeah, SP he is that go. man. I think that that music just don't translate for me. Not when I was younger. Now I kind of listen to it, tap into it. That whole just bebop style, the way New York rap is presented, it's just it wasn't something I was into at the they time. They got bars. You know how they um, do got bars. You know how Migos be hopping on the track after each other. Yeah, I think. Like Styles and Jada kind of started that shit, man. Oh yeah, the way they flip flop. Yeah, back. That, heard them bro, that. the way they be hopping on tracks after each other, bro, that shit be like, yo, and they be saying some fire ass shit. Yeah. So I, you know, it just it just depends. They was on a Desert Storm mixtape, and I gotta go oh, yeah. through my old shit, but oh, they yeah. had they had a, tr- a track on one of them Desert Storm. That was a uh, fabulous stupid. mixtape, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember that shit. <laughs> I remember that, that shit. That shit was hard as hell. Desert Storm was <laughs> hard. That's oh, when DJ Clue. He, he said he wouldn't do a mixtape if Fab wasn't the first song on it every time. Well, DJ Clue tripping. But yeah, I mean, that but shit But that died. was his artist, though. <laughs> that was his artist. He was probably yeah. trying to push him. At the it's point. like every DJ Clue uh, mixtape had Fab was the first track. I wish I was on that train back then, the dip set and the locks. I, re- I really do. I just didn't never, it never, gra- it never, I never took hold of it. Right. One thing about the locks is they was the only niggas that was challenging Rockefeller niggas. Yeah, they was out here challenging Rockefeller niggas two battles. Like y'all niggas is not all that. Niggas, did, what's up? Thing. Niggas in New York is very cocky. Yeah, <laughs> and they competitive. Yeah, yeah, they competitive. They always competing for who who is the number one, who's the king, who's this. I mean, shit. But I, 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 I don't own property groups. for a little bit. Out of all yeah. those groups, I'm trying to with Johnny man. The best lyricists are coming out of the locks. I don't really, you know, Cameron was like, I hate coming out the locks. I think Jim, I, we, Cameron we, we, was never in the locks. No, yeah, I'm saying I'm saying the best lyricists are coming out the locks. I don't think you got. Oh yeah, they coming out the locks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You right. right. And then hold up, hold up, now. Juel Santana. On I was about now. to say now, Ju- Juels had they, them bars. They say Juel, but would you take Juels over Styles P? No, I or, wouldn't. Or Sheik? Juel's gonna win. I Maybe wouldn't. Sheik. Would you take him over Sheik? I take him over Sheik. All right. All right. But when I tell you Jada Kiss and Styles are up there to me with bars. Can't nobody see them like that. Like I yeah. like Cam, but Cam not on a level. Who would be nah. like I like Jimmy, but Jimmy not on a level. Definitely nah. not. I like 
Jewels, Jewels might be there. He might be like right there. With I think him. I think Jewels you know might I mean? be the but closest with them. He too. might be close, but he, bro, they they own some whole another underground spitting shit. Right. That's what I'm saying. I don't, it's not a lot of people that can fuck with Styles P and Jada Kiss. It's not. No, not at all. Not. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. <laughs> nah, I mean, I'm with you. I'm just waiting. I'm ready to see it, man. I'm ready to see what happens. I'm ready to see him perform because, like, this will all be new to me. So when I when I say who won, it'll just be basically based off that one night and me hearing the music live. And that shit at Madison Square. Yeah, it's gonna Ooh. that's gonna. That's I wonder a big if it's event. at the real Madison Square or like the ballroom that's attached to mm, Madison Square. That's a good ass question. It's <laughs> a good ass. I'm hey, guessing you know, the, they ballroom. Had the ballroom. Yeah, because I remember when Jesus and Miro kept saying they were selling out Madison Square. And then they were selling out the ballroom. Yeah, with the ballroom attached to Madison Square. That's like hey, that's still out, Madison Square. Yeah, yeah technically, that's, sell, that's like selling out Ovens Auditorium. Attached oh, and to saying it's in the Independence Arena. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Bojangles Arena. Still counts. <laughs> All right. Still counts. So y'all heard us talk a lot on this show, me and James, about Lovecraft Country. We never really dig into it. Um, but the show is written by this woman by the name of Misha Green. She's an American TV writer, director, and producer who got her stars on shows like Heroes and Supernatural. And she's written two series that I really loved, and that was Lovecraft Country. And the other one was a show called The Underground. Um, but this week she posted on Twitter. Um, well, first of all, Lovecraft Country is nominated for 18 Emmy Awards. Because it was that good. It was that good. It was that good, John. I'm, I'm tripping. <laughs> I ain't watching it now. I'm tripping. And now she's posting, like, things about season two that could or could not be. Uh, you know, because it, it could still get picked up. I mean, they said they canceled it, but HBO must not going to oh, do it. Oh, they not going to sell the rights to somebody. I don't know who owns it. I'm just saying, like, I feel like it's still a possibility it could get picked up. Come to Netflix. They Netflix take, take everything. It's giving out video games. Yep. <laughs> but oh, they're giving out video games? They're doing a game pass with Netflix coming this year. The fuck? So you can rent games. I seen the other day they're going to start hosting the Emmys on Netflix. I believe. Really? I said, ain't this about a bitch? I, mean, I logged on there the other day and they said something about it. It was like the Emmys dope. collection. It's taking over, bro. All right, so she posted um, on Twitter a post of what ne- next season episodes are supposed to look like. And so they're supposed to be diving on where, where we're coming from, the next generation, what is the origin and what is the source. Um, it's supposed to get into the characters' backstories. Mm-hmm. And then talk about the old generation with uh, Attic and uh, I think it's Lydia. And then she had some episode sketches. Like this is just like her outline for the next season that she was about to send over. But what I thought was interesting was this map of America. Because at the, I think at the end, Attic has died in mm-hmm. the new blood. They Like the black people got the, the book. Niece. Yeah, the niece. Yeah. Bla- yeah, we ended up getting our book back. Um but let me see if I can find this damn. It's like some witchcraft type black people shit, but it's all based in true, true events and fantasy at the same time. You it's actually pretty good. Y'all it's a, it's go a check real it good show. You should go check it out. A real deep I want show. to, but I'm gonna be mad. Sound like that it ain't gonna be a second season. I feel like it's it might be. So the next generation. This is what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you the map. And so it's like a map of what what they turned to what I th- I guess this is like what they supposed to have turned the world into, but this right here is like the white lands, the new Negro Republic, tribal nations of the West, and the Jefferson Commonwealth. Mm. Like all this shit look interesting if you if you watched it if you seen it, it was just. It First was just of all, this Negro, this new Negro, Republic. new Negro Republic is uh, the whole Southeast. Oh my god! Like. This looks crazy. It's like it's almost like what they did in Love Cap Country at the end gave us our land back, and it gave like the Western people they land back. Oh, white people ain't got shit. Nah, <laughs> they got Boston. <laughs> yeah, they literally got Boston. Look at like a piece of Texas. They got like Boston. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, Chocolate City. Uh, I say black that that like. piece of Texas and um and um and um well whatever that piece of Texas is right there, any of that is just gonna be problematic. Oh, they gonna oh, be yeah. fighting they, all they day. They should put Native Americans close to us. They should they're put white in, people I think there. they were in Illinois. So they're in the tribal West nations, I think. No, no, no. No, no they in that white lands. Because they were in Illinois in this. Oh, okay. And they had traveled out to Pennsylvania. But 
I just wanted to shed some light on that. I think this might get picked up, but shout out to them for getting for those 18 Emmy noms. Can you imagine an all black Miami? <laughs> you can't deny 18 Emmy, Emmy noms. Like, yeah, it's I, crazy. I think that I think we get a season two. I think you get a season two, man, because there's so much more to that story that's got to be told. Why did they cancel the show? Creative differences. They never said. HBO probably ain't trying to pay that much money because they probably don't got too big. Giving too much, yeah. They probably yeah. too busy spending millions on Game of Thrones. And then on top of that, that show was bashing white people in the worst way. Oh, yeah, okay. it really was. It, it was bashing it really white was. people, yeah, bro. Really I can see that. Oh, okay. Oh, also, yeah. Journey Smollett, and what's the other guy's name? Uh, his name is something simple as fuck. <laughs> John something. Yeah, right? it's John. John something. Boyega. No, that's not. Nah, him. nah. That Boyega is he from that's uh the Star Wars? Both yeah. nominated for Emmys. They should win. They did a good ass job on that. Man. First of all, that nigga uh, what's the name? Atticus. He about to be the new Kane Conqueror. Oh yeah, I in, can't wait uh, for Ant Man. Right? Yeah. So he don't. He don't. He don't moved up. So you got to pay him. Definitely. That's probably why they killed his character off. Marvel money. No, at least 20 but that's billion. the thing. You think we talked about this last week? He what? might. He might have come back in season two. Matter of fact, if you could tell, he was coming back per the outline that she. Oh, wrote. okay. Well, uh, yeah. Jonathan okay. Major. 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 Jonathan Majors. Yeah. And uh, what's her name? Journey Smollett. Nominated for lead actress Emmys. That's what's up. Damn. Um, man, my episode. Uh, Going off on the tangent, it was when they traveled back in time, and he was trying to oh, stop yeah. it. That that was the best. That episode. was the best episode. That man. was the best that episode. That was one of the best episode. They traveled back to uh the Tulsa raids. Oh okay. Man, that shit man, was that crazy. Was good. Damn, they went back to Tulsa. Watchmen yeah. was in Tulsa. You yep. really got to because the Watchmen got canceled too, and this is the yeah. same yep. shit. Bashing white folks. Mm-hmm. That's the same shit, man. It's like, all right, this was good. Hey, but... them producers was like, hold on, right? And hold uh, on. <laughs> oh hell no, we can't have this. <laughs> they, <laughs> They they we teaching can't have this. they teaching critical race theory through uh TV. Yeah. They're giving yeah. real history. Right. Yeah. Through TV. Critical race theory through yeah. TV. Like it's it crazy. Is, nah. All right, man. Also this week, man, Richard Sherman, cornerback of the is he still with the 49ers? Not your free agent. Cornerback Richard Sherman. I think he got one more season in him. <laughs> but uh Wednesday. What did he do? It depends on what he did. What did he do? So Wednesday Super Bowl champion Richard Sherman was arrested on burglary, domestic violence charges, resisting arrest, and malicious mischief. Oh, he'll be back. For what it sounds <laughs> like, he got drunk. I guess him and his wife got in an argument or something like that. You can hear from the 911 call. She just kept saying, you'll come get him. He's drunk. So I think the wife left the house, went to her parents' house. He hops in the bins and follows them over there drunk as hell, wrecks the bins, abandons the bins, winds up at the parents' crib, and they got footage of Richard Sherman banging and trying to beat the door down to get in. And so um, it's it was said that the father-in-law and Richard Sherman got into a fight. Um, the father-in-law had a gun on him and everything, like prepared to shoot Richard Sherman if oh, he needed shit. to. Uh, so oh, Richard Sherman was arrested, but he was let off with no bond, no restrictions. Um, the judge said, you know, Richard Sherman is a pro- pillar in their, their community in Seattle. This is one of his first offenses. He's never had any run-ins with the law. So I think that was the most positive thing I could take away CTE. from it. But that's yeah, yeah, out, of, out of all people, <laughs> I remember there was a time where we were praising the the smartness of Richard yeah. Sherman because he's so intelligent and. To hear that, you know what I'm saying, that he's going through something mentally like this. Like, I hope Richard Sherman get through whatever he was going through, man. I remember there was Look, a period of time where he was that, like, that dude. Yeah, I, I think it's a graduate of Stanford. Yeah. I'm not an advocate of putting people in jail. But take his ass to jail. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, damn, this nigga a pillar in the community so he don't go to jail. Bro, come on, bro. That's that shit be is, making bro. me so mad. Like, but we, you never hear a black man's name tied to something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? Steph Curry. You think if your black ass go to jail, they're gonna say we're gonna let James go home? He'll oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like, That's what you mean. You gotta be some type of athlete or something. Not even, not even so. Like, I don't even think it happens often with them. I don't think it has ha- happens that often for something like that. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Now Russell Wilson went Man. off. I bet they let him go. Probably so. Who, Russell, Russell Wilson? Wilson? Yeah. Oh, he, <laughs> how you gonna go off? Oh gosh, darn it! <laughs> I'm sick of this. <laughs> sick of this shit. What the hell is going on, Sierra? <laughs> He's beating the table really hard. He just won't stop oh, hitting the shit. table. 
I've oh, never seen shit. him like this. Well, He's gee stupid. golly, I don't know what the hell. <laughs> Leave my nigga alone, man. Gosh darn it, open the door. <laughs> open the door and let me in, CC. Snickle Fritz. <laughs> <laughs> Snickle Fritz. <laughs> Nah, I, I don't agree with James, man. I agree that he needs help, and I hope he gets the help that he seeks. I don't believe he should go to jail. Maybe he should be in a place where he can't get to his wife and his family because it sounds like he put their life in danger or put them in danger, let me say. But I don't think he should. I, I, I'm not with locking nobody up. Man, one night in jail, have you thinking swell. You won't try oh, he, that shit oh, no he, more. Oh, he went to jail Wednesday night. Yeah, right, he yeah. already went to jail. He got out Friday, right? Yeah, he went got out me. Friday. Boy, that jail, that jail visit. Wake your ass up! <laughs> You'll be like, Hold did you go? I guess probably that giving out autographs been. and shit. I ain't been, but I, I know been, if yeah, I've he, been, I it would been, definitely yeah, wake my ass up. I'd be like, hey, I'm not too. doing this again because uh, I, I wouldn't even go to sleep. I'd be in the corner, like, let me just guard my. Oh, they're gonna hole. get you, Johnny. Yeah, let me be. Uh, they're gonna, they gonna see that curly hair. They're gonna be like, yes, sir, come on in here. <laughs> Hold on, first of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, first of all in jail, no. In jail, no. They I know, I'm fucking with it. But if you was in prison. But if you was in prison. Oh, they'll get you. I'll probably see somebody I know. Oh, they'll know you, all right. <laughs> you like to lift weights, too? <laughs> yeah, I ain't trying to see no niggas. In, I ain't trying I, to see no I, niggas. I my, that was my thing. I said, if I end up going to jail for some strange reason or prison, I hope it's somebody with the high school within that bitch. Why? No. I need a friend, nigga. That nigga been getting his ass towed up the whole time. He gonna tell your ass up. He gonna you think he your friend? Yeah, yeah I remember you. I can't be alone, on, man. man. I don't, if I don't know nobody, I'll be scared as hell. I'm gonna be like, man, I, I remember ain't got you. No Come on over here, man. Johnny, that's gonna be your boyfriend, nigga. You don't wanna know that man, nigga. You don't want that, bro. You don't want that I need nigga. protection. Fuck it. You better get you some soap. You better join on a the rope. You better, become a, <laughs> you better become a Muslim. Become a Muslim. That's I hang out with the Muslims, place. brothers. They will they protect you. They gonna whoop your ass too. Nah, they gonna catch Johnny eating bacon. Like, Hell no, nigga. What you got going on? Oh, we about to whoop right, your ass. I might mess with the moves. <laughs> I gotta do something, Mick. I've been thinking about this. <laughs> nigga, you're not going to jail. That's what I'm saying. What the fuck? Why are you thinking about this? <laughs> All right, man. Steve Johnny gonna be over there with the Muslims <laughs> with a ham sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, we man. We see your ass. <laughs> I'm going to play these comments from Stephen what A. Smith. Carrot stupid. bacon. They're so reluctant to change. They're always the last. So Stephen A. Smith was on first take. Is this first take? Yep. He, he was talking. To, he was talking about um, Otani. Sashio. Is it Socio? Socio. I don't know. It's Shashi Otani. Shashi Otani. Shashi Otani is a pitcher for the uh, Los Angeles. the Ange most Japanese name <laughs> I've ever heard in my life. He is a pitcher for the uh, Los Angeles Angels. Not only is he a pitcher, he can fucking hit. Like this dude is was in the home run derby. So he's. He can play the game with baseball well, and um, they were talking about, you know, why baseball hasn't improved and hasn't been able to capture that younger audience, and if this is one of your leading guys, you know what I'm saying, why is he a good fit or why isn't he a good fit? So that, I'm going to give you a little backstory before I play this clip. The party. When I look at Otani, he is big time. Babe Ruth, 33 home runs, batting 279, got a 4 on one record with a 379 ERA as a pitcher. This brother is special. Make no mistake about it. But the fact that you got a foreign player that doesn't speak English, that needs an interpreter, believe it or not, I think contributes to harming the game to some degree when that's your box office appeal. It needs to be somebody like Bryce Harper, Mike Trout, those guys. And unfortunately, at this moment in time, that's not the case. Damn, that's kind of, that, that is kind of racist. You taking <laughs> shots here, bruh. No, it's not. It is kind of. Tell me why it is. Because, man, I mean, regardless of who he is or where he's from, He's good at the game of baseball. So regardless if you decide to make him a face of your franchise or not, it should be for a person that's good. That's the whole purpose of the face of the franchise. It don't matter if this person can speak. It yeah. don't matter. This nigga can hit a ball and catch a ball. Well, Let's make him the face. So what? that's not what he – so what he's not saying is that he can't be the face of your team or the face of the sport because he needs an interpreter. He's saying that handicaps him – from being a good face of the team. He's saying that in American sports, in order for you to translate over well to Americans, it would be better if you could just speak the language. That would help out. 
So if you wanted to, if you want, if baseball needed a face right now, having a foreign player who doesn't speak English wouldn't really help the game for a game that's having trouble translating over to the American youth, which makes a whole lot of fucking sense. Only rebuttal I have for that is they have plenty of American players going to China to play, and they end up being the face of their shit. That's a, and that's one of them is uh, Marbury. Everybody yeah. knows Stephon Marbury. He became the face of the Shanghai Sharks, and right. they have a fucking uh, statue of this man over there. I agree. So, I mean. But I think American sports and American superstars translate everywhere. And I, and I hate that because it shouldn't be that way. Mm. But our, our skill and our talent in our leagues are held as one of the best in our whole entire world. Like, guys go, go, guys go from professional leagues in Germany or wherever they're from to professional leagues here in America because we're supposed to have the best athletes in our sports in the oh, world. That's true. So, therefore, when our athletes from our best sport in the world go to other countries, yeah, it translates. I mean, even the uh, the teams in uh, the NBA teams, they do that Jap- the uh, Tokyo tour every year. So, it's like we we translate well and don't speak other people's languages. But for some reason in this country, that language barrier keeps you from being – it keeps you from grabbing the audience. Like, my favorite player in baseball is Ronald Acuna Jr., but I don't like to hear him speak because – I don't know what he's saying. I love to watch him play. I love to watch him play. But as far as like when it's time for him to speak, it's just like it's, you know, his actually his translator is the second baseman, Ozzy. Ozzy always translates for him. Ozzy speaks English. So I like to play baseball. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so I mean, yeah. I, eyes, <laughs> I watched the uh, home Slap I, eyes. <laughs> I watched the home run derby and it was just like I heard this guy, Socio Tani, speak. And it was like watching him play is amazing. It's dope. I definitely tune in. But when it's time for you to get an interviews, the things that really sell us on our players, it's a disconnect because we got to hear you talk and wait for your translator to speak. It's almost like if we seen Cam, Cam is, or any player you like, they're so great at what they do. But that the fact that you can relate to them via a language that you understand, it, it that's the barrier that you don't have to cross i just believe america just don't got so good at racism anytime <laughs> anytime we say right. something i, hate, I, I never understood what shaq was saying but i related to that nigga yeah. i hate that y'all think i hate that people think that's racist because i think uh on the same show or a show later they're talking about the nigerian basketball team and he's butchering those names but nobody says hey that's disrespectful why are you why are you why are you allowed to bash? Why is he allowed to bash black men the way he does? I don't think he was racist with the Asian comment. No, he was speaking from a business standpoint. Because I mean, look at Luca. Uh, Luca can't speak English. Luca definitely can't speak but English. But that nigga, the, uh, he's the face. He's the face of the, he's the, of face of the Mavericks. Of you he's the, the face face of the Mavericks. Nah, Luca very yes, popular. Yes, he is. Bro, Luca, Luca is Luca the probably next like, generation, bro. Luca probably like one of the top ten selling jerseys. I will say that. Look it up. Top ten. All right. I will say, Luca, they they promise him to be the next generation. I just want to know if he's a top ten selling jersey. Mm. I don't, I, I, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I know he up there. Luca definitely up there. No, you like him because you watch back. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, you, he's you, a good basketball player. But you can't. You don't relate to him. What you mean? You don't relate to. Luka? I relate to that step back. I'll be killing him like that on the regular. Number court. two, step bro. Back. Number two? Luka is. <laughs> After LeBron. After LeBron? Well, who's the top ten? Uh, LeBron, Luka, KD, Steph, Giannis, Kyrie. Damn, he AD, got over KD? Tatum, Harden, Zion. He got so, over Tatum and Zion? So yeah, still, he would, I wouldn't consider him a face of our league. Because, first of all, my point to James is this. You relate to his basketball game. We his relate skill. to the, everybody on that list has a player, has a black person, has who they are in this country. We understand what they say when they speak. So we relate to them on a different level. We look at LeBron James more than just LeBron James, the player. We look yeah. at everything. I mean, LeBron Giannis learned some too. English. All you talk about is how <laughs> Luca play. In order, nice. In order for people to invest in your game, you got to be more than nice. You got to be personable to people. And that's what he's saying. <gasps> I don't know because there's a I couple got foreign the players. Two selling jerseys. I feel like people invest in them. It's a couple well, of foreign think, players also, that I love. You also got to remember those jersey sales are worldwide. Mm-hmm. So I remember when Yao Ming was high selling. Yeah, Yao Ming was also not the face of our league. He was just high. He was he had a high selling jersey. 
Because what you got all them fucking okay. people over there. So how about Manu Ginobili, aka Spanish Kobe? Okay, but right. yeah, he was. You keep saying. talking about great. You keep talking about guys who can play basketball. Bro, this man was the <laughs> focal point of the Spurs. He was James, that dude over there. James, you continuously miss my point. I'm not talking about your ability to play a game. I feel you on that. Your ability to you just saying relate. Your ability to do things are is not what sells tickets. Are you relatable? Bruh, what? First of all, your ability to do things definitely sells tickets. LeBron James wouldn't be who he was if he couldn't do what he do. My case in point is Cam Newton. You hate Cam Newton. I don't hate him. You think he's the worst quarterback ever. I don't, I don't think Newton. he's the worst quarterback ever. <laughs> oh, no, I got it. I got it. I got it recorded. I, got I didn't it recorded. say he was the worst quarterback ever. I ain't Cam never Newton sell out arenas. Yeah, because people like Cam Newton, not, not also because of what Cam and they can hate do. Cam Newton. People know at the end of the day, but, Cam can run like a running back. So to, some people come to see that they be like, "Hey, course, I want to see Cam run the ball because that's what he's good at." No shit about see. football, sh- no shit about basketball. Who relate to certain players because they can relate to them. They're personable. That's that's the selling point with players. Is who do can people buy into you? Because me personally, I don't relate. With if, you're asshole, if you're an asshole, if you're an asshole, nobody it. likes you. Then I can't make you the face of anything. If you're an asshole, like think about every asshole player. Yeah, you like them because they nice on the court. But if you're an asshole, ain't no, Lance, Lance Lance Stevenson was the man here at one point. That nigga was an asshole <laughs> on the court. Don't nobody want. Nobody Actually, let, people love Lance. That's just like Trey Young. Trey Young just came into He's not the an ass- asshole. He just came into the asshole role this year, this year alone. Because when he played the series with New York. Them motherfuckers hated his ass. They was spitting uh, at him, throwing batteries at him. What'd he not, do he do? Hey, not, I'm the bad guy. Fuck y'all guys. Guess what? Asshole. He embraced it well. Yes, he, he embraced it. Asshole. He said, hey, what? Like, I'll play the bad guy. Like I'll Charles be your Bar- huckleberry. Like Charles Barkley wasn't as marketable as Michael Jordan. You feel what I'm saying? Because Charles Barkley was ass. They had to find ways to market Charles Barkley. Oh, I mean, Charles Barkley was like, I ain't your role model. Yeah, <laughs> that was how they market. But that's, that's how they. But that's, that's how they. That's crazy, market. right? But uh, imagine your job is to sell the American people on somebody. And remember, you're selling. When I say sell the American people, not just fans of the sport, you're trying to sell people who don't even watch your sport. And that's the goal. The goal is to grow a sport. The goal is to gain a new audience. It's kind of hard to gain a new audience if the star player don't speak the audience's language. A part of getting audiences and targeting audiences and marketing the audiences is knowing your audience and knowing what they like and knowing who they are. And if you if, if in America, if you if we can't talk to you, then we ain't that invested in you. Man, it's a lot of foreign players that got love take, over take, here. Take 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 that a out of lot. It. Think about the Spanish person that walks in your store and try to get help from you, and he ain't he don't speak English. You I'm just like, hey, bro. You, you, hold on, give me one second. <laughs> Let me go get my translator, <laughs> and we gonna handle that because we got a translator in our store. Yeah, but you see what you see what I'm saying? Like you don't get to engage with him. I mean, yeah. I mean, sometimes when I wear my uh my um my uh Spanish soccer jersey, people love that. They be like, "Oh, you are soccer I'll be like, <laughs> Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Even though I don't, but you know, you know any of those Spanish soccer players? Not one. And you never. But I look fly as fucking my jersey. <laughs> <You never will. laughs> So is uh, Otani o- o- not trying to learn English? Or Stephen well, A just assuming? No, well, the A, they don't have to. I, there's plenty of Spanish players that never learn English. But I'm pretty sure he going to try to learn some type of English. You in America, bro. Like, come on. Follow Maybe. suit. Maybe. I wouldn't I go like to everybody France. Everybody learns some type of English. I wouldn't go to France and be like, I'm not going to learn no France while I'm here. Yeah, you know I mean, my French. Name? My bad. I, I know <laughs> I said that. But I, I can't. You know what I mean? You can't, you can't do that. Yeah. You got to... I ain't gonna say you can't do that, but it wouldn't be right. This is the only country in the world where you could come and never learn the language. This is the only, huh? Yeah, they have to know our language. See, yeah, and that's what I'm trying to say. Like, you, that's who we trying to market somebody who speaks Spanish to a country full of people who be like, "You're in our country, speak our language." They not about to buy into that. If I mean, Luca Luca try to speak English. He'd be like, "Hey, you know, I did all right." They be steady trying to interview this man. And he'd be like, "Look, I only know two English words. I'm gonna try my best." <laughs> Where he from anyway? I did good. Uh, Luca is Lithuania. Lithuania. Yeah, there you go. Mm. I said that nigga not from nowhere. Those are the white Spanish people. Lithuanians. Yeah, those are Caucasoids. Uh, let me see, Shakari. Oh, while we here, man, before I go to Shakari Richardson, uh, ESPN dropped their top ten quarterback list. Oh yeah. Oh, who on there? 
Mahomes was one. Rogers Cam on was there. two. No, he's not on there. What? Um, Tom Brady was three. <laughs> That's all I know off the top of my brain. Cam wasn't in the top ten? Mm-mm. Wow. He didn't have a good year. He didn't have a good year. Just because uh, he didn't have a good year? What about everything else right, he did? Mahomes. This is based off of last year. Oh, yeah, okay. Mahomes, Rogers, Brady, Wilson, Lamar Josh Jackson. Allen, Lamar Matt Stafford. Lamar Jackson. Uh, Dak Prescott. Lamar Damn, they what? put Dak up there. <laughs> Lamar Jackson, <laughs> Justin Herbert, <laughs> and Kyler Murray is your top ten. Wow. Yo, first of all, Dak, no, get off of that. Yeah, he shouldn't be in the top ten. He shouldn't be on there. If, if he not, if the Cam, if the Dak in the top ten, Cam should be. In the I'm top surprised 10. Baker Mayfield didn't make top ten. And they got in the playoffs. Yeah. Mm. All right. Mm. And Matt Stafford, man, they love Matt Stafford though. All right. Um. And Shakari Richardson was offered a vape deal from Dr. Dabber. They offered 250k to be a brand ambassador. You damn right, I would have took that 250k. <laughs> she didn't. She didn't take it. <laughs> she didn't. She didn't. You damn it. right. I would have been out there in my track shoes and everything. That's probably yeah. the lowest offer she didn't got. Yeah, probably. She, she, she probably getting offered hella it. money. She didn't take that it. Nike contract probably. She can't that. take that. Yeah, that that yeah, Nike that's contract bad for the probably brand a fool. at this point. Yeah, she can't take that. Who, um, Mr. Dab? <laughs> Dr. Dab. Dr. Dab. <laughs> hey, what up? Hey, what up with y'all? It's your girl, Shikari. Just letting y'all know when I'm down and you know sad, I'm doing Dr. Dab. <laughs> <laughs> dab it up. Sometimes <laughs> when I'm on the dash, I got to do a Dr. Dab. <laughs> <laughs> y'all niggas is ignorant, On man. a hundred meter dash, <laughs> All right. you can catch me on them Dr. Dab. <laughs> Just with the doctor or <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. I am done. Doctor Dad. I gotta follow my shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> All right, man. Things that we don't even need to discuss. Cosby wants to be Cosby wants to be paid for his time in prison. Why, nigga? Because <laughs> he got a lawyer and he can do shit like that. Cosby like, hold up now. He was hey, shit, y'all don't got me shit. up in this motherfucker. He you see like, that shit he posted? He was like, I just got a fresh haircut. <laughs> that nigga looked about dead in that picture. His eyes was open or closed. That nigga say, now nah, y'all open, got they, me in this bitch. His eyes was no open and the pupils was closed. What the fuck? Weird. First of all, if he deserved to get paid for his time in jail, a I deserve to get should. paid just for breathing. What's my girl? Maya Moore husband should get paid. Hey, right, but you know this is only because he was wrongfully jailed. So he gonna sue the state? Or How sue? is he wrongfully jailed? Because they used his testimony that they weren't supposed to use against him. So I they, was just going to say, didn't they make this nigga admit that he did the shit? <laughs> so how the fuck you? Yeah, but he admitted jail. it. But they, but they weren't supposed to. They weren't supposed. They to weren't do supposed it. to do it. So they yeah, broke, I they did the code. shit. <laughs> Let me out. Code. Right. OJ was like, damn, I could have did that too. Yeah, nah, I don't that. think he had that <laughs> offer. I don't think. But he admitted it in an earlier case. It wasn't even in that case. Ah, uh, okay. So it's like that couldn't be used again. What a Y'all sicko. ever seen Fresh Prince when they went to jail and they Man. put the camera on him? He was like, yeah, we done it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we done it. Right. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Let me see. Uh, Netflix is going to have video games. You touched on that. Candace Parker would be the first female to grace the cover of NBA 2K. Oh, I seen that, man. I pre-ordered my shit. First of all, 2K on some shit, bro. I'm going to just say that because shout out to Live. Live was the first, like, NBA game that had women, women on, it. Oh, yeah. on it. Like, I'm talking about in it. Like, you could play as a woman character mm-hmm. and you can they play were. against men. You know what I mean? So I th- shout out the live for that. I thought that was pretty dope. It was pretty dope. You know what I mean? But I mean, yeah. it, it just is yeah, what it and is. And March Madness had the women college teams on there too. Oh, where? Yeah. What makes it so crazy is it's girls that play 2K. Yeah, it is. And my, that, my niece play. Yeah, and right. they got to they got to be a man character. Oh, so now they get to be. Now they. I mean, in I don't know how 2K gonna correlate that over. But they honestly should. They should. At least they like should you play. Yeah, my player. Yeah, be a woman. You could be a woman because it, they it makes no sense. They don't have like no a sense. WNBA season. That's the thing. Like they don't have a season mode. They just, you can only play with women on the uh, like oh, exhibition. exhibition. Yeah, yeah, so it would be you now. against somebody. Yeah. yeah. But they should at least let them make a my player to go to the park. And yeah, shit like that. they should. Yeah, that'd be dope. They definitely should. All right, hire James. Two K. 
I'm just saying, I mean, y'all, y'all missing out on a, a lot of opportunity. That is it. That, a, a lot good. of opportunity just because y'all want to market to guys. I mean, women play video games too, probably more than dudes. That goes back to our marketing discussion. You market to your target audience. Yeah, I'm just saying, women out here and they playing 2K. And, and with that being said, and I didn't want to turn this into a discussion, if you market to your target audience, that makes me feel like you put a woman on the cover because of inclusion in today's society. Mm. That's almost like if a person, if 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 your target audience is majority men and you're doing a, a football show and the producers come in and say, hey, we got to add a woman. It's literally because somebody up there was like, all right, before the, somebody says something, put a woman here. But see, I don't like how they do football Possibly. for women. How they do the bikini? Now nah, I love oh, you watching. About the LFL? Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I'm not but talking I don't about like, sports shows. I'm not talking about them playing. They did change the, the uniforms up a little bit. Oh, they did. Yeah. Is it more covering? It's more covering. It's more like, uh, but they ergonomical. But, like, but they I bet athletes. you, I bet you, they is, still uh, show they. But they got like oh, booty yeah. shorts on. There. Oh, okay. They it's still kind of. It's still kind of. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like what do you? What's the word I'm looking for? Degrading a little yeah. bit. I mean, because out there in bikinis with pads on, it, bro. that was kind of. You don't want a whole bunch of butchy women out you there. Gotta you got to market it. it. You got to sell it. And that's um, how they marketed it at this time. How they were selling it was them thongs. Yeah, now that was crazy. They had women in thongs playing football. They was yes. like, it was it used to be the lingerie yes. football league. You no. don't remember that? Yeah. No, I never seen. I never Bruh. now it's legends. It I mean, they can play. I like watching the games. Chick, she was tall, bro. She was tracking them down. I think she yeah. was yeah. a lineman. TV? Yeah, me yeah, and my the, dad used to watch. Yeah, it. I watch oh. it now. The season about to start in a couple weeks. New season. That's crazy. All right. Um. Also, man, last but not least, it's better than arena league if you ask me. I bet you it is. Last but not least, Danny <laughs> Lay finally revealed reasons. to us that she was pregnant. Congratulations about the baby. But we've been through that. I don't the know who the daddy care. is. The baby don't care. Ain't nothing but a check if it is. His baby. Yeah, I don't he, think he's gonna do that. And I, the baby what you mean? Like a pretty good father. If he is the father, I don't think he's not gonna not take care. Of yeah, he's no, like he's gonna take dad. care of the kid. Oh. He's not gonna take care of her. <laughs> That's what it is. She do child support payments, will. I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think that's very unfair, though. If you can prove that you're taking care of your kids, then why are you getting slapped with child hey, support? It's the system we live in, bro. It's not fair. You knew what you was doing when you was going raw. You knew what the possibilities were. Yeah, but pull out, my nigga. Yeah, you All right. right. <laughs> you right about that. Real nigga of the week. We're going to take it to Detroit. Bianca Chambers. Oh, yeah. She definitely the realest. All right. I could tell y'all, but I'm going to let the video speak for me. Yes, sir. Bianca Chambers says for two days she tracked her stolen Mercedes Benz all over Detroit. On day three, she decided to take matters into her own hands. That she did. She confronted the thief. Stole my At that point, I was just like, dog, I'm not letting this man walk again. Bianca face to face with the guy she says stole her brand new Benz. Excuse me, you got that Benz out there? Yes, you do. She <laughs> on sight at that dude. It went down Wednesday at a barber shop at Greenfield and Grand River. He in seven days west, getting his dress twisted. Look at my car. Customers stepped in, making a citizen's arrest. Then Bianca slashed her own tires. I slashed all she the went, tires and I thought that he was going to take off yeah. and I didn't know how long See, it was going to take for the police to pull said, up. I and I refused to let him take pull off again. <laughs> Holding him there until Detroit she police came. You will never steal when from me again. Detroit police say yeah, officers yeah, she responded definitely overreacted times by to Bianca's 911 time. calls as she tracked the car using a web of social media tips. But when officers got there, the car was gone. Oh my God. Y'all, I see my car. The thief so bold, he even made a pit stop at the strip mall where Bianca owns a boutique. Crazy. They was driving, you know, they was having a good time. You know, they was smoking, but yes, my car was very clean. He even got the car detailed. Sources tell Fox 2 Bro, was now in police custody. <laughs> thought that shit was his. Had a history of stealing Bro, cars. around, around get the car team. detailed. You're just the dumbest criminal, that's all. Yeah. Like, you're dumb. joyriding in my car. Like, wasn't nobody going to see you. Reporting on Detroit's West yeah, Side, you know. Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News. Yo, if y'all can see the way she's dragging this young man by his hair, Jesus Christ. Nah, I mean, she deserves it. What would y'all do if y'all seen somebody driving around and y'all shit? Like, say if you woke up the next day, you'd be like, damn, where my car at? You thinking your shit got towed. <laughs> and you see somebody drive by. Oh, that nigga done stole my shit. 
<laughs> I'm pretty You'll sure. You'll be mad as fuck. Yeah, you, you gonna like, be like, hold on. I remember I got my car stolen in Greece, bro. I kept calling the tow truck company. I was like, y'all sure y'all ain't got my car? Like, the dude oh, was like, shit. no. <laughs> you ain't got your shit, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. That's a little Billy and them got your shit. I know it's a sick-ass feeling to wake up in your car and where you left it. Boy. Yeah. And you start thinking, well, damn, did I park so well? Mm. That's the last thing you want to think. Somebody got my ass. Right. Bro, I've been told on many different occasions. And uh, it sucks every time. I every can time. do it. I've only been booted. All right, man. Dunce Metal. <laughs> this week's Dunce Metal is going out to Victoria's Secret Karen. I think her name is Abigail. Oh, she should have got punched clean she in her face. She was wilding. So Bro, she had to have she? a mental Abigail health Abigail was problem. in the store with a young black woman. I'm not unique. You, uh, you, Unica. I think this is the Damn, one's girl. name. Is. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I think they was in there for the, they was, We'll never stop. <laughs> I never think they was in there on a panty sale, and the white woman kind of nudged Unica, and she kind of turned around like, "Yo, what, what the fuck? Why are you in here being nasty on a panty sale?" <laughs> Why don't I walk away from her? Why don't she get away from me? She could get away. Go wherever you want to go. You see that breakdown, though? How she just broke down and been in the middle of the floor? Oh, God. No. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. That comes from not getting your ass with it. Oh, my God. My aunt would have whooped that ass. I just want y'all to hear a little bit of this woman. Do you see this? Oh, my God. I've never thought nothing like this would happen to me. She just tried to run and hit me. And now she, did you see her? She need her ass you with saw her, right. right? They all saw her. No. Oh my God. See, they allowed that Karen shit when she was a kid. She had a breakdown. She tried to hit me. She had a breakdown. Extra yep. workers. She tried to hit me. I think the crazy part is that nobody tried to stop this woman <laughs> from crying. Like they didn't escort her out the store. They didn't call security. Like, they kept running business as usual. Nigga, it's a panty sale. Right. Nigga, you ain't had a panty sale? Right. <laughs> you know I mean? 75% off. I don't seen, give a damn about this woman cutting up in this store. I've Bitch, we got to get these panties people, out of here. I've seen black people snatched out of stores for less, man. Like, it's a, it's crazy to me the, the vast, like, apparent difference. Like, we could never do that. Bruh, what I'm trying to tell you, it, it stems from when they was a kid. How many white kids have you seen act out like that in the middle of the store and they fucking parents not doing nothing? Yeah, they gonna do that shit when they get older. I agree with that. Because right, they I not getting that. slapped upside the head. <laughs> I agree That's exactly that. what's going on. But, I, in the mouth. but I also think we know that our actions as black people come with greater damages. Like, you don't just get, you don't just get talked to. Like, you fucking get escorted out the store, never could come back to the mall, like, oh yeah, it's gonna be a. It's not gonna be them ignoring you and telling you, "Ma'am, get up off the floor," and them telling the person recording you, "Hey, could you stop recording and kind of like they, they asking her to leave, like she did something wrong." Yeah, if you a nigga yeah. and you start breaking down in the middle of the store crying, oh, they, they gonna beat your ass on you. Yeah, <laughs> tear your ass up, night sticks and all. Fuck you doing in here crying, nigga? Shit, I give you it. something to cry about. I seen a video where they uh, arrested a nigga in the food court because he looked like somebody. <laughs> <laughs> You think I could do this shit in front of my son? Hell yeah. <laughs> and, hey, that nigga was going off, though, because it wasn't him, and they came back and tried to apologize. That nigga was snapping. Don't this nigga look like Dante? That shit Dante. crazy. All right, man. Person All right, man. Week. Person of the week, I was scrolling, and I saw that Warwick Dunn, the former Florida State running back and former Tampa Bay Buccaneers running back, um, apparently when he was younger, his mom passed away. She was a police officer. She was shot and killed. Hey, hey no, uh, Keep going. Oh, when he was in high school. Um, I so, was about to say, ignore his mama getting John Gill, nigga. Damn, what you want? He raised, uh, he raised his kids' siblings while he was in college, and he graduated. He went to the NFL. But the cool thing about him is, um, he used his earnings from the NFL. He bought 145 single mothers' houses. Oh, damn. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's deep. Right, damn. man. He really felt that sacrificing Fuck. some of the millions for her for these for he these really young felt ladies. That. Hey, probably, man. He probably know what he felt like what it, he felt what it was like to be a single parent. He yeah. probably like, fuck it. I know my that. mom was going through this. That's one thing about like the human experience that I love. Like, you know what I mean? Like, when we go through some shit and we really feel it. We can't let nobody else go through that shit, man. Yeah, that's true. We be like, man, nah, man. Somebody yeah, hey. to stand up 
intercede and be like, nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna change this up. This ain't right. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. That's dope. It be Make living here that, on earth not be so the bad. The ones that had the silver spoon that don't know how to help people. Yeah, that's true. Because they ain't never been there. Yeah, they don't know yeah. what it's like. All right. That's, that's why God keep on blessing. That was episode 166. 166, y'all. Listen, listen, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. If you're on YouTube right now, like, subscribe, comment. If you're in Apple Podcast land, go ahead and write that review. Five stars, please. Five stars, please. Only. You get four stars, we coming to your house. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> All right, man. Free my oh, nigga man. Joe Exotic. Nah, leave his ass in there. You gonna fuck around and get somebody stupid. bit. Today's more of the story. <laughs> yeah. it's it's for the yeah. Get him a tiger as soon as he get out. Hey, right. today's more of the story it's is. It Shit, lock up Carol Baskins. James, oh, right. James is the uh, average man, Kevin Samuels. <laughs> yep. I, I, I'm learning more about you, Kevin Samuels. Remember, every day. Remember, nigga, if you ugly and you a seven, in your mind you a nine, nigga. You can't, <laughs> you can't be stopped, nigga. Hey, what I'm trying to tell you. At real time, what we doing this hundred yard dash, man? Huh? What we doing this hundred yard dash? What racing? Yeah, we call it win. Win. What's the point? I'm gonna win. To do? What you trying to do? We can do it now. Y'all wanna do it now? No, we can change my growing almost back to 100. percent I'm ready. We're not doing this now. Oh, you don't wanna do it now? No, I, I ain't never. Scared. I got my crops. Oh, okay. I'll run in Crocs. That's fine. All right, yeah. I'll run barefoot. You wanna run barefoot? All right, so y'all see, he <laughs> do- y'all see he dodging the smoke. He only one set of day. I'm not dodging. One set of day. I said we could do it now. Dodge the, you dodge the smoke. Now? I can't do it now. It's 12 o'clock and I got you. It sounds like you dodging the smoke, I'm sir. I'm not dodging You see this? He gonna try to hit this reverse psychology on me. And I said now. I said now. You talking about you dodging. They don't want it right now. Wednesday? Yeah. Let's do it. All right, bring I had the cameras out there, man. We you bring your growing. <laughs> Wednesday. Wednesday afternoon. You off Wednesday too. Yep. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock in the track afternoon. over here by the Walmart. All right, then I'll record I'm y'all. I'm going win. Nah, you running, nigga. Oh, I'm running too? Oh, hell. Nah, that nigga ain't going to run. <laughs> <All> right, <laughs> yeah, the fucking leg going to be flying like this when I'm done, man. To the and they going to pull a hammy. <laughs> ah, ah, y'all man. got it? Y'all yeah, got yeah, it? We do need you for the season. You good. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, listen. Thank y'all for tuning in, man. I want y'all to love the life you live. Love the people in it. And find the positive in every situation and live in the moment because this life is not forever. I'm Jumpman Jones. I'm signing off for Jukebox Johnny and my man James the Jellyfish. We'll see y'all niggas next week. Oh, shout out D in the kitchen for holding us down today. Yo, thank you. This one for all of y'all and 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 y'all